the wrong side of the law. Okay, I believe we're live. So happy Friday, everybody. Another Friday, another episode of Valor Live. So let's go ahead and get right down to business. Uh, hopefully you're all familiar with me. Hi again, my name is Zachary Mayer. I am a voice actor based in Las Vegas, Nevada. You most likely heard me in Epitheta Race as well as various other indie shows and video games all across the internet. Uh, next up, uh, we have Francesca. Hi all, my name is Francesca Callo. I play Kaylin Lau in this lovely little stream. Um, I'm an actor currently in New York City. You can hear me on shows like Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, Regal Academy, uh, which is on Nick Jr., um, a podcast called Archive 81, which is also becoming a Netflix TV series. So look out for that soon. Ooh, exciting news. Thank you for that. Up next, we got Paul. Hey everybody, so my name is Paul Green Dennis. I am a voice actor slash opera singer based out of New York, to be more specific, Brentwood, which is on Long Island, New York. Um, I am the voice actor for Phase on Black, and I just got my character demo reel done, which will be edited and finished in a few days, hopefully. And also, I did a little collab with um, Cassie Sapphire for a Final Fantasy XIV song that she's also finishing up. So I'll keep you posted about which one that is. And also, I got casted for a fan dub that I'm looking forward to do. So I'll also keep you posted about that. Bang. Exciting. And we got a special guest with us tonight. Uh, everyone put your hands together for Lisa. Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, yay, there's hands and snaps. <laughs> I love snaps. Uh, my name is Lisa Ortiz. Uh, you may know me. I uh, started off in um, shows such as Lean In Burst and Slayers. It's on Amy Rose and Sonic X. And most recently, Pokemon Journeys. Today I came back as Karina, which dropped today. And uh, Talia in there. Um, also in Regal Academy and many things with lovely Fran and Rahir. Um, and we also had Gundam Seed, which came down this week with uh, who I play, Natarl Badgerul. And mm. uh, most recently, Arte up in animation and a bunch of others. But today, we're going to be doing some fun. I'm very excited. I, exciting. I can't wait to show off your character, or you'll be the one doing the honors. But mm -hmm. last but not least, we have Lily. Hi, I'm Lily Lammers, and I play Bryn Breyer. Um, I'm a Los Angeles-based voice actor. You can hear me in anime like Hunter Hunter, Welcome to Demon School of Rumikud, or games like Chronicon or Negative Atmosphere. Recently did a podcast called uh, Nicked, where I play Sarah, <laughs> and it's a cool little Christmas podcast that's coming out soon, so watch that. <laughs> or listen. <laughs> And as always, all of our information should be always in the chat in case you ever uh, feel excited and want to catch up with all the work we, we've been doing. Uh, to address the small little elephant in the room, uh, those of you who are aware from last time might be uh, wondering why we are down a certain player for today. Uh, just to say what is going on, uh, our, our normal fourth slash fifth uh, that plays Gemma, Tamara Fritz, uh, had a surgery scheduled earlier this week and is currently resting. They're doing well, and I'm sure would appreciate any well wishes and messages you want to send over their way. Uh, the plan is they'll be back here uh, next time, but right now they're doing the smart thing of resting, and we wish them the best. Uh, I do want to go ahead and shout out a few people behind the scenes that make the show possible. Uh, First is Austin. Uh, Austin is the one who created the system that we're using today, uh, the Valor Heroic RPG system. Uh, none of this would be possible without him bringing us all together and helping people get all the information they need to play this game. So definitely appreciate all his work. We have Charu behind the scenes uh, running the stream, uh, making sure all the transitions go very smoothly. It's never an easy job to stream. So we thank them for their work each and every time. Thank you so much. And all the lovely artists who work on the, the player characters and NPCs you've seen uh, featuring, uh, you guys can probably see the lovely art for Lisa's character right there in the middle. Um, the art for the players, uh, including Lisa's character, was done by Six, a very talented artist. I believe we'll get their information in the chat. 
and all the NPC art for all the various characters these guys are going to be interacting with was done by Hart Footler. Uh, their information should be in there as well. Very talented talented people. Their commission slots might be open, so if you're looking for some wonderful art, go give them a follow. Um, again, to shout out the system we're using, it's the Valor Heroic RPG system. One of my favorite systems that allows so much creativity and fun for you, all of your players and GMs. Um, if you want to check us out, we're over at ValorousGames.com, so you can be up to date with all the news related to this system. Uh, we also have a Patreon uh, if you want to support this uh, show and the system in that kind of way. Uh, we'll get that info up there as well, as well as some early access stuff for additional rules and supplements uh, that we may or may not be using from time to time over at our over on our itch.io. And again, until the rest of the year, uh, if you really want to support this system, get some cool merch or buy the system on Store Envy. $10 off for the rest of the year. Take advantage of that while you can. And with that out of the way, I'm just going to do a little quick last time on Valor Live. So last time on Valor Live, we traveled back to the past and peered into Gemma's old team, the Sparkling Saviors. The members of which, Glitter Gleam, Amber Glow, and Heartshine, all pal around before their sleazy boss, Chester, gets a little antsy with their missing member, Rosy Love, running late as they try to demo a new line of self-defense merchandise. Uh, Rosy Love does eventually come back, a little beaten up as it seems they were in a fight as of previous. Uh, it's addressed to make sure that she is okay and to meet Chester's demand and go on and perform their live show in front of an audience. Uh, the show for the most part goes very well, except for a little oopsie where a stunt performer gets maced with actual mace instead of some fake chemicals. Uh, a little berating on Chester's management skills comes after that, but not before Chester gets a call about a job for the sparkling saviors to take across town. Uh, we flash forward into a hospital bed as we later find out the job didn't quite go so well and Heartshine fell into a small concussion. It was discussed as a team about uh, the growing pains and staying t and all the risk about staying together as a group, which each member uh, voicing their own opinions of how they should proceed further, ending with the team eventually deciding for the best to go their own ways. We travel back to Gemma's apartment as she talks to her mom for a short while, just catching up and making sure everything's okay and what her future plans might be and what certain city she may go to down the line. Uh, Rosie Love comes out of costume to go and speak with Heartshine and to catch up and discuss their plans and whether they may see each other in the future, maybe not, kind of decide maybe what the future holds as we flash even further and further forward to catch up on our regular party, finishing their investigation up back at the police station where they gather enough evidence, encrypted evidence, that needs to be taken apart so they can put Penrose behind bars. They eventually go back down to the underground mage gathering that's refuging a lot of illegal mages to enlist the help of Arcos and Jin as they start to decrypt the evidence. Uh, the police seems to catch wind about the illegal chimera operations and decided to pull their own bust. Whether to disrupt the plans of the party or to actually do their own job is yet to be seen. A raid led by Arsenal himself starts to take place as the party disperses to escort mages uh, into Arcos's home, to which he called his little mommy to get permission, as well as uh, defeat Arsenal and the rest of the coppers to make sure that no one gets hurt. Uh, let's see. Well, no one gets hurt under their watch. Uh, Callan goes ahead and uh, has a very personal moment with Arsenal, gathering up all his strength to eventually put the scene uh, down for good, defeating Arsenal and forcing the rest of the officers to surrender. Not before Arcos can reveal the evidence and get the police to now start to turn on Penrose, who eventually decides to throw a little fuss, tossing police cars all over the streets before taking one to leave himself. And that is where we leave off. So. Not emotional at all. 
<laughs> With that out of the way, let me go ahead and transition you guys back to the Equalist office. Phazon, Bryn, and Callan, Esther has gathered all of you back at the office to share a little bit of news about what's going on. Uh, eventually, uh, Arcos does share the uh, the decrypted evidence that now puts Penrose behind bars, and Esther uh, gathers everybody to hold a little meeting as they open up. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> I feel like I ask this every single time we meet. Do you want the good news or the bad news first? As they turn to all of you, um, like still kind of sniffling since Aww. we left. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, um, I could really use some some good news right now. Let's start off with the good news first. Yeah. Uh, Baraha, if you don't mind, as for Baraha opens up, well, all of you guys definitely did good work investigating around uh, the. Uh, the office um definitely enough to bust penrose and it seems that we're gonna get a little bit of extra help in putting him behind bars are any of you familiar uh with the nsi and now we do our role <laughs> now yeah. do are we <laughs> let's find out <laughs> yeah, resolve if it's word of mouth or intuition if it's just your regular knowledge. Oh, I got a nine. That's not good. <laughs> also, did I say NSI? I meant NDI. <laughs> NDA? Uh, did you say NDA? NDI. I, uh... Oh, in CIS? <laughs> <laughs> Look, a lot of acronyms. NDI. Let me look at your roles. 15, 9, and 6. Uh, Paul, uh, Faison did, does not know too much about uh, the NDI. Callan, you know a little bit of it, mostly uh, from, you know, social studies classes um, when you actually do attend school. Uh, Who needs it? <laughs> <laughs> you paid attention for this lecture, and uh, oh, Brent is able to God. fill in a, a lot of this as well. Kellen, your initial knowledge is they're a branch of uh, the government. Uh, kind of uh, think a bit about like uh, the FBI kind of of our, our world. Uh, just a just an organization that in, has a lot of investigations and a lot of crime fighting uh, on the federal level. Uh, Lily, you were able to fill in just a little bit more of it's of a big step up when it comes to dealing with a lot. Because, I mean, this is a modern fantasy world where a lot of undead and mind controlling could go around. Dragons could be flying from back and forth. And a whole bunch of magical beasts might uh, be going crazy across the world. So they enlists a lot of powerful individuals uh, when it comes to having to deal with any arrests, investigations, detective work, uh, not purifier levels, those chosen by gods for those yeah. of you uh, uh, remember, uh, but definitely very capable individuals and definitely work on the covert side, uh, only sharing information mostly uh, when they feel it is necessary. Got it. <laughs> I shared that with them. <laughs> uh, Furaha speaks up back again. Uh, we just got a notice this morning that uh, an agent who will be heading this investigation will be coming in. Normally, I would always leave it to the four of you uh, as Furaha looks at the missing chair. Um... We would leave it to you guys to operate on your own accord, but I think to make sure Penrose does definitely does not get away, probably be good to turn to the experts on this one. Um, 
So they're just gonna help us and, and we have to go find him and then what? Once he's arrested or whatever, what's gonna happen to him? Not a clue. All I know is now this is out of our jurisdic jurisdiction right now. But in other words, this is kind of like Black Ops in a sense that the NDI, they're taking over this investigation. They, they definitely are taking over. I've only worked with them uh, with law enforcement only a couple of times. They, they only get involved with police affairs when things go completely south, which unfortunately is the situation. Esther speaks up. The bad news is, from what me and Baraha have been talking about, we have no idea where Penrose is hiding. I don't... The only piece of news I got is the NDI is putting on a soft lock lockdown across the whole city, city of Calibri. It's very hard to get in or out at this point. Air traffic is at a stand so as of right now anyway just great so everyone has to quarantine kid it's not think of it this way I wouldn't say quarantine I would say something close to martial law huh. oh well no. that's not good martial Mar law is kind of difficult you already know how the general public feel about the police as of right now. Yeah. I get the feeling even that wouldn't stop him, too. There's def um, definitely traitors still under his wing. Are um, the... Oh, sorry. No? What's going on, um, kid? Um, are, are the police also going to be looking for him, or is it just the NDI agent that we're working with? Uh, all the good officers are definitely uh, putting on their own investigation and trying to fight, figure out where Penrose might be. The NDI are working on whatever this agent is telling them to do. They're calling the shots, whoever they are. I have a question. Do you, you know who the NDI... Who's in... Who the NDI... Who's the head of the NDI? The head? Or mm. they're their own, in, they don't answer to nobody. Uh, I don't think I did enough digging to know who exactly is at the head. Alay, you know enough digging to <laughs> find out with that 15 of yours who is <laughs> at the head. Um. The, hmm, what name am I gonna drop? <laughs> <laughs> Randomize. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, this is an important name, and I didn't yeah. think I had to think this hard. <laughs> Unless. Haha, uh... <laughs> Austin! Thanks for saving me, buddy. Uh, you guys are you guys are devious. Um, as of right now, you don't know who much who they are. But you're gonna remember the name, Malay. Uh, Herschel Law. Herschel Law. Oh. Former, yeah. former general, four star, and as head of the organization for 20 years now. That's it. Jesus. Owner of Hershey's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very big fan of chocolate. Didn't want that secret getting out. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a knock at the door as Morgan comes in. Uh, the, uh, the NDI agent is here. Esther speaks up. Let them in. Right, boss. All right, everybody. Put on, put on your professional face. <laughs> as this, this person walks in. Kaylin like shrinks back a little. <laughs> Morning, afternoon, evening, time is irrelevant. We have a job to do. My name is Roxy Stone, 
and I'm here to meet you. I've heard you guys are the people in question. You've been doing a fine job in this community. Can I have a little bit about you? You've heard correct. Very good. I'd like to thank you for your service so far. I want you to think of me not as someone who's coming in to take over this operation, but someone who's just locked down the city and put our prime suspect on the run. I'm counting on you guys in this room to help me make sure that justice has been served. What I would love to do, and I'd like to think of us as friends, is anyone here anyth wearing anything red? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Your belt's a little bit off for me. I'm sorry. I just, I, I find red to be a very unprofessional color. I don't like to work people who do it, so that's good. I was told you guys are good people. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Um, I mean, second I'm wearing th brown, but... Oh, sorry to interrupt, ma'am. I didn't no. mean to interrupt. How old are you? Um, are you I'm, your mother I'm know a, you're here? Um, well, yes. I'm an old 14. Um, He's you with know, us. I'm with them. I've you been helping what? a lot. You know what? The Cavalier. I've heard about yeah. your work. And who am I to say? When I was 14, I was barely able to pronounce a sentence. Well, well you can put on a lot now. Certainly um, can. I'd like us all to be friends and work together. One of the things that I want to know right here tonight is I heard that you were involved in the incident that happened just last week. What can you tell me about that? And what can you tell me about Penrose? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I have, let's start over. Sometimes people Where find to me a begin? little too. I apologize. I think Bryn is very nervous. <laughs> yeah, so is Cal. He's just uh, like shivering in his seat. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say he's been uh, involved with some uh, Enclave Mage stuff. Uh, let's just put it at that. And he's been involved possibly with Eden Paulette. Uh, Miss Stone, this, these words make sense to you. Uh, Eden Pollard is a magical organization. It's a research firm to advance, mm -hmm. uh, the furtherment of magic and work closely with military companies to, uh, enlist mages in, you know, mage deployment all across the world. Mm -hmm. Um, they had been in the news recently for having a dragon, uh, perched up underneath their home as well as keeping prisoners under their home for sick experimentation. Very aware of these details. And I will say <laughs> this, I am horrified with what you have had to face in here. Were you able to see this, um, this abomination up close? You mean the dragon? Um. Dragon is, Yes. Now the dragon, here's the thing. You seem to, there's something about you that I can't place. You seem like a very good kid. What do you know? I can tell you've got an emotional connection to this. Were you able to see him? Um, well, yeah. So, okay. So there was a freeway chase and we met this dragon named Immortal Wind and he was enslaved by these people um, from Eden Pollitt and we said that we would help him, and then we discovered that he was being held underneath the mansion of Eden Pollitt's house, and they were doing, like, these weird experiments, and, like, they were trying to, like, take his powers and, and put them in, like, the main guy of Eden Pollitt, and so we tried to stop him, but then, um, I think Immortal Wind, I think he died as a result, um... I want you but, to understand. Mm -hmm. No, go on, but, go on. I mean, they've been. We also like met this person who was possessed, and 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 we found out. Mister Phazon and I found out how to do it, and when we realized that's when we realized that Mortal Wind was captured because we were able to use what they did, what the mages were using, or whoever was using it, um, to try and possess these people, and we discovered Mortal Wind. Um, yeah. I, I appreciate that. I want to say something. I have, you were correct in your suspicions about Immortal Wind. I know Immortal Wind as Vaisandalus. Very old, yes. very well known. 
Bryson Dallas? Bison Dallas. Oh, that, Bison Dallas. Yes. That would be Mortal Wind's dragon name. I want you to know that what happened there will not be unanswered and it will not be in vain. Okay, we're very thankful for the work that you did. The situation that you have here, that you've seen with the mages and everything that's going on is larger than what you think it is. And I'm gonna need all the help that I can get to do this. You are gonna need me, you're gonna need my team. But I say, um, we need to figure out where Pendros is now because I think that's where we've got to start. Yes. You guys up to the task? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, Miss uh, Stone, ma'am. Yes. Um, do you know, like, do you guys have any leads on on Pendrose right now, or are we just gonna like walk the streets, or um, uh? Well, I've got a whole team of experts on my side. Uh, let me just go. I've got a couple of dockets that I've got over here. Right now, I think what we're going to have, I know there's, their company is restructuring. His son is set up on there. And um, let's see. Um, I think where we're going to have to start is at Eden Pollitz itself. Do we have any other intel that would be helpful as to where to start off with there, where the family's gone or anything that's happened from that point? <laughs> it starts to speak of. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi, 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 Miss Stone. Uh, yes. Call it. Uh, just to clarify, uh, my father. Uh, I think you got a little information confused. My my father was the one responsible for ending the dragon under his wings. My father is currently dead. Mm. Um. Like currently, <laughs> like uh, he was purified. That mm. that is yeah. You don't want to know more. about that one. As far as my my own dealings with Penrose, that was something that my father has done. My nose. What I can say is, is frequent our house without my knowledge as well as with a few other contacts. There was a, mm -hmm. there was a law uh, keeping track of who my basement or not. Th this this might just be dark, mind you, but do we know who else also visited my home uh, without my awareness? You mean like, and he kind of like leans over and goes, what was? Joe's character uh, like, boss boss oh right because <laughs> he, here's mean, all I'm saying is you like miss lady if if I lady uh, miss stone if I can speak freely you scare a lot um uh, I scare guy, you yeah a little bit hmm I but, took the most unassuming form I could manage mm, can you take other forms yeah those will scare you. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying. Um, nobody wants the NDI breathing down their nose getting somebody as an accomplice. So who else besides my father was Penrose working? Do any of you guys have an, an idea? Um. Well, the other corrupt police officers, and then there was, um, what was it, Black Sun or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Red Sun. Red, Red Sun. Sun. I'm sorry, I think Black Sun is a Star Wars thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, those are my, that's my favorite space adventure death shot, but I'm thinking, I think you mean Red Sun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. Sun. There are lots of colors. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, I hate the color red. We can start there. Okay, so we have a bad <laughs> feeling about Red Sun. Also, the other stuff they did with the people hired by them and the possession and, yeah. And some knights. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Grey Matter and Mr. Arsenal. They said Vinny. they were possessed, but... 
Have you ever heard of a term called gas? Gas? Any of you? Uh, yes. yes. We did. Yes. 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 You know, it was the know. title of one of the episodes. <laughs> it was also an ancient magic. I think. Callan, you are okay, over here. Yes. It is, as you say, an ancient magic. Cool. Yes. So, I think. I think still think that Eden Pollard would be the best place to investigate, but we're going to be dealing with. I think we're dealing with something larger. But do we have any situation or any knowledge of where the Red Sun operates? Do we have any knowledge of where the Red Sun operates? They're a company, so I think they have their own like building. Mm -hmm. No, you guys know where it is. You got. You have. You have uh, the business card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, of one Mr. Kostya Volkov, CEO. Of oh yeah. Uh, I don't remember who he gave it to. I think it was me. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you're you're the friendliest person there to accept it. Right. Um, he yeah. takes out all his trading cards and like sifts through the piles of trading cards of knights uh, looking for it. And he's like, oh, uh, no, that's uh, that's green matter. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, uh, here, I, I got the business card. And he like holds it out proudly to uh, Rosie Stone. Good work. What was your name, kid? Um, I'm Kaylin Lau, <laughs> but you can just call me- Oh, mm -hmm. right. Um, no, um, we're using real names now. Um, no, no. My name. Oh, no. We're using code names now. Um, you're, are you sure your mother knows where you are? Um, well, yeah, I sent her a letter a couple of days ago. Um, yes, kid. So, I mean, she is overseas, so maybe it hasn't. All right. Her all yet. right. All right. Enough about okay. your mother. What's the guy's name? I trust you implicitly. Um, what's his name, DM? <laughs> What's Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Your and name is Kazri. <laughs> oh yeah, and my name is Kazri. Not Kaylin Loud, just Kazri. You can call me Kazri. And his Kazri. name, yeah, Kazri. And his name is Kostya Volkov. Kostya. He's the CEO. Mm-hmm. Kostya. Uh, he seemed creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Kaz Kazri's business card that he shows to Miss Stone has thing phone number, uh, company address, um, and I'm like everything. Reach this guy easily, hmm. should you choose. All right, and um, just so that I understand, so that I'm going over here, Eden Pollitt, Eden Pollitt. Yes, she's not yes. in the room. Yes, you're right there, right? I'm I'm here. Yes, uh, th this dude. Uh, you can see his name, right? Arcos hmm. Eden. No, you can't. Why is everyone's name tag off? Let me fix that. <laughs> uh, was Eden Paulitz, Sergeant Braha, Arjuna. Can you guys everybody's name tag? Sorry. Okay. So, um, Mr. Pallet, I just want to remind you, no one will be coming into or leaving the city and I will be paying you a visit later. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you start your own investigation into who may or may not have been in your home unknown to you, if in fact they were unknown, and we'll be checking on you later. Now, um, let's see. Is there any other information that anybody in here feels like I should know that I don't? I probably know it, but I want you to tell me because I want to know what you know. Um, also, I'm very approachable. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stone, my yes? name is Sergeant Faraha. Sergeant uh, Faraha. Uh, consider me the right hand to work under pen before all this went down. Uh, as you probably are aware, there is a little bit of a crisis going on with, within the police force, as well as the general public becoming very distrustful of law enforcement due to recent occurrences. Mm -hmm. But I I will go ahead and have any of my men uh, available at your command. Who do you trust within your organization? How many men do you think you could have on hand if we need them to call? 
five good cops. One five. One one as dumb as a bu- one is gonna one as dumb as a bucket, but uh, kindest soul I've ever met. I'm sure you have uh, uh, enough forces to make up for that number. I, uh, I have plenty of forces at my hand, more in the time, and you'll find I'm a very resourceful person. Five good cops. No wonder your city has a crisis and we're in lockdown. Okay. Um, what else? Anybody else that we have in there? I just need to figure out. So on this force, we have that. Where have you guys been concentrating your efforts at this point? As a police force. Anywhere? No? You, you might have heard uh, You might have heard in a few days past that there was a bus headed by Penrose to mm-hmm. deal with an illegal chimera operation. Mm-hmm. Um, we are already... We're, since that, since that case has fallen under my jurisdiction, I have put that on a pause because I believe a captain of the police force, who's now been have clear evidence about his corruptedness, mm-hmm. takes precedence over any other petty crime within the city. Okay, so that has or it hasn't been investigated. Have you, the gang of you, have you been down to the Chimera operation? Is that where you found our dragon, or no? Um, not where I found the dragon, but um. <laughs> We were there when Penrose came in and tried to stop it, and then was, yeah. <laughs> Evil. That's how we all met, kind of. I mean, I met yes. Mr. Faison beforehand, but then we met uh, Alay and um, Heartshine, who is not here right now, but she will be. Um, and yeah, it was our first mission together as real cavaliers. This is like way, this is way weeks past, but. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know you guys all come together over here. Um, so we've got to start somewhere. Now I'm curious because I see that you've made more headway than necessarily our police department has over here. Understandably what? so, since there's been a lot of infiltration of uh, forces packing stuff that most police shouldn't be packing. Well, I'm very aware of the corruption within this department. Did that sound creepy? I'm trying to be very friendly here. Is that working? Is that coming across to you guys? Caleb's yeah. like shivering, shivering in his chair. He's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very friendly. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, good. Some people I know find me intimidating. It's not a thing. Also, oh, gosh, is there I anything? Why? I have no idea. Anything to... All right. Well, I guess the best place for us to start um, I would love, if you guys don't have any ideas of your own force over here, I wanna take this guy down. I wanna take down the organization. I wanna do everything we can, but the people that we are looking for right now, that is my top priority. Let me head up over to... Mm. My... My main task right now is to deal with Penrose, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and he, that is Operation Force One. Now is he, you didn't say he was dead. That's not, that's Pallet that's dead, right? Penrose, still at large. Penrose is alive. Penrose is is still at large. What's the last place that you, the last known place of there that you've seen him or that Um, you've heard about? Is there any intel? the Mage Enclave. He was trying to bust the mages and then. (laughs) And what happened? They didn't? Uh, we Did you go back? Es- we helped them escape. Then- so you're in tight with the mages? <laughs> if oh. I may speak. Yes, please. I'm not sure if you're familiar with our little province, but there are two sects of mages. There's mm-hmm. normal mages that go about their own business, running bakeries, mm-hmm. theaters, um, any types of goods and services. And then there is the enclave, which- Sorry, I meant not enclaves, but you know what I meant before. <laughs> the enclave are a, the Florine en- enclave are a bunch of, of stick twisted little warlocks who believe any type of human experimentation is justified so long as magic reaches its bitter end and we discover everything about it. Penrose came over to my underground refuge while the police was doing their dirty work trying to funnel them into Eden Pollitt. Can we stop with that? 
here's the main points that we should probably focus on. The po all the police's corruption was Penrose's fault. We get we get rid of Penrose and all everybody associated with them. That that's the first right step into fixing everything going wrong with the police. And if there's anything I have to say about it, I'm gonna do my damnedest to make sure that no one can talk crap like this about the police as possible. <sighs> Sorry. No, I'm with you. I'm very with you. We need to stop what's going on. So we head after Penrose first, last seen on Mage. Where would you suggest? You seem to have your heart set into this. Where would you send us? He ran He ran away with a cop car, probably into hiding. I. I think Arcos was on the right lead of bringing up whomever might still be in his little uh, list of contacts. This Red Sun CEO is probably the best bet. You want to call him? Visit him? Yeah, let's give him a call. I think that that would be the main thing. We can show up over there. Did you have a friendly relationship with him? Do you want to call him first or we can just head over <laughs> to his office? <laughs> I may have a very different different uh idea of what a friendly relationship is oh uh, i mean he tried to hire us right he tried to hire us <laughs> okay <laughs> great so i'd say let's make an appointment show up and see what he wanted you to do okay um are you gonna go undercover i am <gasps> undercover like, his like stars start to line up and then they kind of like fade <laughs> and just are like oh uh you are this is your undercover Persona? Do I need something? What do I need? Oh, I don't know. Like, do I need um, a bow? Like a smile, I guess. Or uh, a puppy would be nice. Oh, um, a puppy would be nice. Puppy? <laughs> yeah, or sunglasses, or like a baseball hat, or As a matter something. of fact, I have a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to pull out my sunglasses and put them on. They're pink. <laughs> <laughs> are they the ones with like the bands on them <laughs> like not yep. like those party ones <laughs> exactly little party sunglasses like am i more conspicuous and approachable this way um uh, yeah i i think no one's gonna know who you are now it's all about the accessories i guess you should probably pretend to be a cavalier like us <laughs> okay i can do that oh you can pretend to be heart shine that's perfect i Work. People know what she looks like. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> she uh, had a whole advertising career. <laughs> All right, yes, fine. That, I that, that wouldn't work. Maybe I could be her sister, Less Shine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Less Shine. Great. Works. Settle. I'm Roxy um, Less Shine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> At which point I want to burst out laughing. I don't know if that's <laughs> going to frighten you guys. Smack the table. I mean, like, this is going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to get along very, very well. Also, is there anything metal in this room? Just out of curiosity? Uh, anything metal in this room? Uh, there's probably metal parts to this water cooler. Um, the little parts of people's belt buckles. Mm -hmm. My sword? Probably, yeah, yeah. the weapons these guys My use in combat. My weapon? <laughs> Okay. No. Uh, yeah, my good. spear, Guandao. <laughs> I don't no. know. Oh, you have a spear named Guandao? That's great. No. Okay. Great. Well, uh, let's make a call. Let's hit the road and uh, let's see what we got going on. I'll get a snack uh, later. Oh, man. Well, we haven't really eaten and. Um, okay, we'll get it later. Are Maybe we going to want to go with the Maybe Morgan has some bakery snacks. <laughs> oh, we forgot to get bakery snacks. Oh, well. Next plot like point. Bakery. <laughs> okay, so you guys, you, let's say you guys make the call, make the arrangement, and you guys are able to, uh, is this a good music track? I can't yeah. hear it. I don't hear it. But it's very softly intense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I hear it. <laughs> yeah, yes, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we can hear. And you guys, feel now free to help me. We're going, I'm good with the, the character, but we can help me do the mission over here. Oh, yeah. We gotta, <laughs> I'll just stare intimidatingly at oh, all of you until perfect. you stop. Except now that I've got my 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 glasses Just on. like the shadow that pops the up shades. behind everyone. <laughs> you guys 
go ahead and get yourself uh, an appointment with one Mr. Kostya Volkov. He invites all of you in. We're all like, anyone want dibs? Heck, I'm taking dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as Kostya turns to all of you, it's like, yes, 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 finally! I was wondering when you were gonna give me a call. <laughs> Couldn't stay away from that tantalizing job offer I gave all of you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, uh, we could use some money and, and, and other things. Um, well, uh, wh why did you, uh, need us again oh because you had gray matter was gone right mm -hmm. okay yes yes in need of very capable knights be willing to sponsor any of any of you into your knighthood <gasps> really we could be knights you just for say, one day you remember what happened to the previous <laughs> one yeah oh yeah right <laughs> oh, sorry focus on the mission what would it take? What would we have to do to get this knighthood? Oh, you're new. I don't think I met you before, miss. Oh, you met my sister. She's got more shine than I do. I'm less shine. I'm not quite as famous as she is, but I'm very, 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 very um, useful. <laughs> oh, a younger sister then, I see. Okay. Well, more the merrier. With with <laughs> with gray matter gone, I would love to uh, have more knights under my belt. We could go ahead and finalize the paperwork, and you guys could start first thing in the morning. Hold up. We. That sounds That's it. Now, what exactly would we need to do? We're very ambitious, especially with knighthood on the table. We'd love to start sooner rather than later. I've lived in the shadow of my sister for a long time. Forgive me, it would be really great to become a knight. You know, there's a lot of chaos going on in Calibri right now. All this wild mage mind control shenanigans and bad cops doing bad things to innocent people. What about an act to, you know, Paint Red Sun is there to step in and help when the people need it the most. Yeah. I think oh, that sounds good. Where would we start? Who do you think we need to protect them from the most? I, I don't know. What, what's the most <laughs> pressing thing going on in the news? <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my old age, it's hard for me to keep up with any social media and your your little, those six second videos that <laughs> for those who can't pay attention, they're really funny, all the dogs. I don't know. What's what? What could we do to get the public's attention and do a good deed? We could uh, see about capturing Penrose. Did you hear what happened to him? Uh, yes, the, that captain on the run. Yeah. Hmm. I I wonder where he could be. <laughs> well. I think I know a way to assist you in this matter, if you would like to follow me. Uh, he goes ahead to this little sci-fi looking orb and starts pushing a few buttons. And as he does, uh, one of those like Iron Man, like 3D looking map of the seat of the city that you're able to spin around and like, you know, poke and like do all the smartphone uh, gestures to. It's like, I'm sure this will be of, of help. <laughs> you, you know, for the... someone who doesn't pay attention to my social media, you sure seem pretty savvy handling this thing. Mm. That doesn't seem as com that seems more complex than handling social media. Getting like I don't know, so many. What is it like twenty, twenty-five? That's a lot. A lot of views on your social media account versus running a multi-billion successful military organization and developing technologies to assist in these matters are completely different tasks, my friend. I'm just here to yeah, throw a bone like, where I can. Like, it's so hard to get good reviews as a cavalier. I can only imagine. 
Mm. He's like pointing at these, trying to touch <laughs> the map. This is a huge map that has just popped up. What's on this thing? What do we yeah. see? Yeah. What um, is this a map of, to be more precisely? Hmm. Is it the whole city? It's, it is it is the whole city. Um, all the districts are laid out, and Kostya even turns to, I think we could take an opportunity here. You, miss, I think I recognize you. You wouldn't have it to be an officer of the law. How do you know this? <laughs> no need to dig into that, but would you, would you mind giving me some access codes for, let's say, the officers you, you trust? and their vehicles. I'll give you mine. As she does, here, just enter it here on this keyboard. And as she does, there's a little blip uh, inside the, uh, the virtual maps. And it's right outside, it makes sense, you're right outside this office. It looks as if like it, it's connected to kind of show a direct link to Faraha's car. Advanced GPS services able to track many and various different vehicles and devices throughout the city. <laughs> of course, we would never use any of this for spying. We need the right access code. <laughs> what do you use it for? Maybe we could discuss that more once you are on our payroll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's That's sign some contract. Uh -huh. What did you find out? I agree with you. Sorry, I'm a magical girl. Less or no, <laughs> let me let you speak. I find it <laughs> odd that you have this contraption and somehow you know uh, one of our friends here is the police. Mm, to be honest, <laughs> I felt a little Who's... scared. All these weird individuals coming to the office only more than half of which I recognize. You, I think, you were with this Penrose fellow for a while. For a while, until I found out he was a dirty cop. <laughs> Trying to uh, make a change for that, aren't we not? Good luck. So if we, if this is the car, Furaha's car, uh, Penrose took his car, so he's either there or somewhere nearby, right? <laughs> mm. I feel like... Mm -hmm. I feel like you know a little bit more than what you're telling us. We could make you famous by tomorrow and beloved in the city if we bring Penrose down. And I'm telling you that we can do it within 72 hours if we get the right intel. Maybe okay. even less. Okay. Let's stick on topic then. Let me ask, how did Penrose escape? What vehicle did he use? That's what I mean, he used a police car. Okay. Then all we would need would just to be the access code for all the operating police cars in the area. I think that's a good start. Is it though? I mean, you like, Can't we just find to... the code of the one that was sent on that mission? I agree. I'm going to reach in my pocket and pull some stuff out and crunch on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Sergeant Baraha, do we have the details on which card that was taken for that mission? Uh, I didn't think this would be our plan of attack. I have a list. I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one, but I think even narrow things down. Yeah, I just thought that would be better than putting every single car. That's probably a lot of cars. <laughs> we ain't mm -hmm. saving any any search histories or keeping these on file, right, Mr. Volkov? <laughs> no, miss. We could dispose of the access as soon as we deal with this predicament say so as uh as she puts them in um it's interesting um mm -hmm. all the cars that were on that job are on the move currently 
Um, mm. Kosia looks at it. Pardon me if I'm wrong, but it looks like <laughs> they're all going in different directions. To the city limits! <laughs> Seem Penrose is trying to make his escape. Gonna lean in and <laughs> I'm just gonna lean in. I think he might find that getting out of this city nowadays is gonna be a lot harder than it used to be. At least that's the word on the street. <laughs> Caitlin like takes out a snack from his back pocket and crunches on it too. Mirror ring, rock stone. If I were in your shoes, <laughs> I'd probably see what would be left of these cars as they start to cross your men. Wait a second. You just mentioned that you, you put up a well, you wouldn't be responsible for why it's difficult to leave the city, were you? I thought you No, were... I didn't say that I had anything to do with it. I'm a magical girl's sister. I oh. can't do anything. I said word on the street word on is the... that it's harder to get out of town. Why do you think we're coming here? Can't get anywhere no. else for a job. We're <laughs> broke. Well, I'm not. <laughs> This is the same Penrose, the man who was able to toss cars to and fro, though. Do you think a little blockade's going to stop him? Oh, where are so the cars we, going? Oh, the car. That was exactly why we were asking for your help. It's funny, you sound almost like you don't want us to find Penrose. That wouldn't be the case, would it? That a challenge? I don't make challenges. Like I said, I'm a magical girl's sister. Take out what's going on and I'm gonna eat what I have in my pocket. Is there anything, is it, does he have a, is, does he have a desk? Uh, Kostya? Yeah, right here, right in front of you. Are there scissors in his desk? Um, <gasps> are you gonna go <laughs> behind his desk and search through it? No, is there, is, it's not like he doesn't have one of those little things out. There's nothing oh, over like there. anything metal. Scissors on his desk already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He has scissors right now okay i'd like to quickly just go up grab the scissors out of his desk okay okay stand up very quick go up to the desk and be like i'm just saying i don't make a challenge i'm just a hungry magical girl and then i'd like to eat them <laughs> <laughs> you nope caitlin oh. like slowly puts his own snack back in his pocket mm -hmm. and like well, this is gone down. <laughs> mm. I don't think you should. <laughs> mm. Ow, we just... have 30 of those anyway. <laughs> what am I to say about your strange eating habits? <laughs> and I'm going to grin. I'm saying, like I said, I'm useful. So, <laughs> city limits, is that where we're headed? Mm. What is the gang? All of them? Oh, can't go to hit it. Shit, all of them. We could have. Uh, Sergeant Faraha, check out some of the other ones while we check out one. Let's go ahead. Like, as she put in like a ton of cards in there, there are currently there are currently three worth investigating. Yeah, which... um, they're going in different directions. I'll go ahead and follow on one of them and rendezvous what I what I could find. Regardless, I'm not sleeping on this. So, Mr. Volkov. Yes. Would you be able to wire this technology to show up within our own GPS systems? <laughs> Child's play. You'll have a live feed about where these cars go and be able to catch them in an instance. But you better hurry. <laughs> the wrong car getting to city limits. And that brute throwing around whatever barriers that say set up, it's very likely. Why do you always laugh like that? <laughs> So, we split up and search for clues, Scooby and the gang. Mm -hmm. I think we could have Faraha's group check one, um, Les Shine's group could check another, and then we could go uh, 
together with less shine. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. And um, before uh, before we leave, can we just ask, I just want to turn him and just ask, so when do we want to, how do we get in touch with you? The same card that we had before? Because I have a feeling that we'll be wanting to talk a lot. Have you. Cards for everybody, as he sends out, uh, gives everybody a card. My <laughs> phone number is on it. <laughs> Keep me on speaker. I will, I will feed any information as necessary, and I wish you luck busting this Penrose. It certainly will look good that the new knight of the Red Sun <laughs> head this investigation. We don't have to actually rare red, do we? I hate red. <laughs> Mm, we can make costume modifications uh, within the contract. Is pink okay? Pink. Oh, pink's great. I love pink. Pink's <laughs> really beautiful. Pink. <laughs> A brighter one. Match that... my glasses. I like that. <laughs> A, f- A shinier form of red, if I say so myself. I would never say that, and I wouldn't have it hurt again. Shoot yourself. <laughs> Oh. Why do we get moving as the dots keep pushing and pushing further and further towards the ci- city limits? Time is wasting. We right. should get going. Yeah, let's take off. Yes. Can I have everybody roll initiative? What? Are we going to have another car fight, Zach? <laughs> no. That was so fast. How am I okay. rolling my initiative? Wait a second. Um, if you oh, click on your character icon and then if you go to your um character sheet Mm -hmm. then you'll see um in your attributes you'll see initiative and a little icon dang nabbit where's my my icon is away um you don't have to look on your icon because we can that's just how to get it in the turn order but zach can do that too yeah, I oh, could add you to the turn order. And yeah, yeah. on the character sheets, uh, on the attributes tab, it should be on the top right under increments. It should be the last button you see. And it'll look like a little dicey dice. I am still learning. <laughs> I'm still You're learning. Fine. And my sheath has gone away to the places. How to roll? Uh, I'll show it to you. Uh, everybody might be able to see it now, but there you go. Uh, are you able to see it? Okay, so yeah, so I'm on the character sheet, and where am I going to? Uh, so I have you on the attributes tab, and you want to hit that button on the right side uh, that says initiative. Under increments. Yeah, under increments on the right side. Constitution under increments. Yeah. <laughs> I am having such the problems. Okay. Is Wait. it showing up? Is attributes tab like showing up for I you? I have attributes and abilities, right? And then yeah. it says attributes add. Oh, add. no, oh, it should no. be not attributes and abilities. It's attri- just attributes. It's under your character sheet. So oh, if you click okay. on the character sheet. Oh, okay. I thought we were going sheet. over there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's yeah. confusing. It's confusing. <laughs> Sorry. So the, okay. fir- the first one is character sheets, and then I'll bring you to three other tabs. One will, one of them will say attributes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I see that. Great. And there should be an initiative button. Under, Under increments. increments. I see it. You want to roll that for me? Woo. There you go. There we go. Yay! 17's the magic number, apparently. Yay. Except for Ooh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Oh, Always get man. the lowest. <laughs> oh. uh. Even got higher than usual this time. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick awesome. little challenge scene. Um, oh my goodness. Who wants to follow? Uh, you know what? All everybody at the same initiatives gives me a fun idea. Who are we starting with? Uh, Miss St- Miss uh, Miss Stone. Yes. So. Um, you will be the first one we play with. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna put you on. Let's see. This map. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, you will be in this red little car. 
and you, you can probably see there's a police car uh, on its on its way out. Uh, starting with you, this is right outside the Red Sun uh, company. Okay. Before. You were on the chase. Um, how would you like to apprehend? You probably have a more. You probably have a more covert-looking car. We're gonna we're gonna use this one up here. I, I like that better. More covert-looking. Which one? Which one is this? Let's see. Right here. Um, how would you like to go ahead and try to apprehend this car? Just tell me what you want to do, and I'll tell you what the roll. Anything's fair game. Okay, and which car am I? Which car am I looking at? This is the. You are the, the red one. The black car. Here, here. I put your icon down here. You might have to scroll down if you don't or see zoom it. out. Yeah, to, yeah. I, yeah, that might be what it is. I might have to scroll down. Ah, oh, okay. I see it. I see it. Okay. So there that black. Are. Cool. So I'm trying to pursue that. Um... You're in pursuit. How okay. would you like to handle this pursuit? And we're pursuing the car, the the car that we were told about. Is that what that is? You're pursuing mul- one of multiple cars. There are three cop cars that need to be dealt with. This is the first. Okay, and this is a cop car. Yep. All right. Let's. Uh, and this is a bad cop, right? <laughs> It's possible bad cop. There's only five oh, good cops. we don't cops. know. There's only five good cops. He's not one of ours, right? No. <laughs> this, is one, All right. this is one of the bad cop cars. It may or may not have Penrose inside. You do not know the windows are tinted, but it's on the run with its sirens on. Okay, so I'm going to try. I would love to drive up right next to it as much as I can, run up on the tail, drive up right next to it, and okay. see if I can, because it's there's a, is that a divider that's right next to it? Um, yeah, we could say for the sake of argument, there's a d- divider. So you, you come up and uh, hit the gas pad- uh, pedal, get right up next to it. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to get very, very close to it. Put the window down and, and like, just, just sell it. Uh, we can, it gets one chance to pull over. It gets one chance to pull over. Um... So the window goes down just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see a cop driver uh, looks at you, looks at you, gets a little panic, rolls the windows right back up, and starts trying to outrun you. It's about to take off. You have a chance to interrupt it in some fashion. Cool. I am literally gonna if I if I, I'm if well. Um... <laughs> Don't want to start the day running things off the road, but there's a lot of work to be done. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I am going to. So the, it it opened up the door and it did that. I, I run it, run it off the side, run it off, Get the, it off side. the road. It had one chance, it didn't go off the road, it went on there. This sounds like you're probably trying to be a little quicker than it. Sounds like you're using your dexterity. If you want to open up your character sheet again, Mm -hmm. go to your attributes and roll your dexterity to see how well this succeeds. Okay, where do I roll the dexterity? Hold on, so I'm on my attribute sheet. Uh Uh-huh, and uh, so the first tab will say base, the second will say active. There should be a little button, like the initiative button, under dexterity. Yes, I see it. And if you just want to press it. I did. Perfect. Um, easily, um, you go ahead, uh, bump this car off the road. Um, this car starts to swerve, and immediately, uh, it tries to make some evasive maneuvers to not hit this red car. Immediately starts to spin out. Uh, and ends a uh, little rotated cross um, over here. And out from uh, each corner, uh, you see two officers just raise their hand. Um, upon further investigation, though, Penrose is not inside this car. Cool. So these are, so are these good cops? Are these here, the cops there? Am I able to speak with them? Uh, yeah. 
yeah, you can okay. speak with them. Um, I assume you probably like pull over and step out uh, from mm -hmm. your vehicle. Yeah. Yelling from the car, hey! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to, uh, um, you know, and who else? Are you guys all in the car with me? I don't We're think all in the so. Car together? It's just okay. you. So just I'm just gonna, great. So I just wanna go up and be like, so uh, I apologize for that minor violation. Um, Wait, you're not here to arrest us? No. Should I be? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, lady. We, 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 were, we were trying to capture, you know, a robbery. We were just on our way to bust a robbery. And what do you think you you're doing, Miss? I don't want to say anything, but right now you sound a little bit nervous and not like you're here to bust a robbery. So what I would say is this: is tell me exactly what you're doing and if this has anything to do with Penrose. I'm not in the mood for any type of games right now. <laughs> well, if you seem on the up and up, then. You found a little dummy car. <laughs> I found a dummy car? Penrose ain't here, lady. We did our job. Do with us what you see. I good. am going to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on one moment. I just gotta plug in my machine. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> For a second, I was like, you're stabbing machine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, yeah. I'm just gonna stab. There's two of them in the car, right? There, there was. There, there was two of them in the car. You wanna, you wanna stab him? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would like to stab one of them, just for right now. Just stab him. I didn't say I'd kill him. I just want to stab him. <laughs> just, Which part of the body? <laughs> Is this a technique of yours? It is now. <laughs> All right. So, Lisa, if you want to go ahead and open up your sheet again. Right. Uh, there's attributes, skill, and flaw, and techniques. Go and roll <laughs> your stabbing technique. <laughs> where is it? Wait, oh which one is that? So that's, oh, where is oh that? Oh, my God. Character sheet. Where's stab? Oh, I got my stab technique. Oh yeah, so I'm going to use my technique. So here we go. Stab. <laughs> okay. He's oh my god. Against your stab. This, this is not how I was planning. I love that it's it. just <laughs> stab. We're, do, we're doing something a little different. What did he roll? You stab him. Oh my goodness. He immediately, he's like, ah! Ah! What? Okay, okay. We'll make this easy for you. We'll make this easy for you. Thank you. And I'm very, very sorry that I had to stab you, but I said you had one chance. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it you think I need to know? He's... <laughs> he's... He's... He's got a... He's got a flight stationed, okay? We were just a distraction. He's going to the airport. Where is he headed? The airport, I just said it! Oh, there's only one airport in this town. It's a very small town, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very small city. <laughs> uh, Miss Stone, you flew in the one and only airport of the city, but you don't know that as you- Jesus, this place is tiny. As, as you, as the knife is still in him. There's one, there's one! Derek, please help me! Okay. Where else? Derek, don't help him. I'm out of here. Is you're he not out of here. Up? If you try and run, you're going to get stabbed. Huh? Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Listen. Thank you, Derek. So now, we're going to stop all air travel out of the city. I'm assuming that I have some kind of a team that I can call and do that. But I'd also want to know, who was he going with, where was he last seen, and who's brought him there? I don't know who this pilot is. Why, why are you doing this, scary lady? <laughs> what are you talking about? I am not scary. I have on pink sunglasses. 
<laughs> is it hard for her to drive with this? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Also. In the slits. <laughs> great. So uh, is there someone that I can call? Like, do I have luck talking to someone that I can shut down the airport to make sure that there's that, that the air travel is done? Can I talk oh. to the rest of the team? Oh, official air travel. You can easily shut that down. Um, private air travel. Um, that's another story. All right. Uh, uh, you get a call from your boss as you radio in. Um, uh, Miss Stone. Yes. Um, you're trying to carry out that order. There seems to be someone who thinks they're a hero who won't turn off, won't turn off their engine. Really? And who is that? And where are they? We're attempting, to, we're attempting to go ahead and uh, arrest the pilot of this. Nope. Sir! Sir! You, you, all you hear in the background is one plane taking off. Motherfucker. The, the plane <laughs> got away, but we can verify this. No one was able to board the plane based on our, based on what we were able to see. No wherever one was able to board. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're tailing, I think that was their one last chance to get out of this city. Okay, good. Um, so is, uh, do we have the, do we have the airport in lockdown? Almost, most certainly we do. Okay. Um, you just, you just hear again, uh, somebody walking up, sir, sir, the airport is currently on lockdown. We're going to ask you <laughs> immediate static. Great. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this town? <laughs> Mm. Long Zach, as for I'm... a second, I thought we'd have an airplane fight. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right. So, and I still have these police officers in front of me, right? Yeah. This dude. This dude. This dude sat there. <laughs> okay. Good. What are you so, do, <laughs> be like, give me your guns. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. Oh, all right. I, I, he pulls out his gun. I was like, "Hold on, I'm an officer of the law." You just give can't... me your gun <laughs> now. I assure you, whatever you think you are or you were, I currently outrank you. What give are you gonna do? Stab me? I'd You're like to throw way. a dagger at his shoulder. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> I don't want to stop. Man <laughs> I don't want to stop this. This is funny. <laughs> you go, go ahead. Oh and my roll god! It. I'm just gonna roll it. And I'm just gonna be like, listen. Yeah. This is bothering me more than it is. I am a peaceful oh person. God. I've just made some new friends. But seriously, I am not in the mood oh to deal god. with this. People's lives are oh at stake. My god. So, I'm not gonna kill him. I'm just gonna hurt him. That's all. Okay, roll it. I roll. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, let me see. 19! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> she crit? <laughs> it's um, possibly a crit. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be like, can you give me your gun now? This, this is the yeah, most... Yeah, it's perfect. This is the, this <laughs> wildest <laughs> session. What did I roll? 16? No, it still hits him. You throw oh a god. dagger. Um... It, right into his arm, sticks him. Ah, he drops its gun. Um, the uh, the barrel is hit, or not the barrel. The uh, the hammer is hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it, it's it hits, ricochets into this car. Uh, as he falls to the ground, why, why are you doing this? Like. Why am I doing this? You just told me you were a distraction and you kept me from Penrose. Do you have any idea what he's done to this city? Yeah. You're lucky I didn't do worse. And can I get his gun? Can I tie him up? There's something I could tie him up with. Can I just tie them up? Can I take their guns? Do I have their guns yet? Well, here's, here's the fortunate news, Lisa. They are caught with handcuffs on them. Okay, fine. A waste of a handcuff, but still. <laughs> I'd like to, yeah, so let me handcuff them. Do I have their yeah. guns? Yeah. Great. I would like to start to eat their gun in front of them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'll stop and just, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, like I said, I outrank you. 
<laughs> All right, you you handcuff them, you throw them, you start eating their guns, and they no. turn, they turn, they turn. It's like you're not gonna chase them. You're just gonna play with us like we're food. I'm not eating you, am I? No. No. I'd it's... like to chain them somewhere that they're not. What information do you have for me? And can I call the rest of this gang over here? I'm going to be like, I found some live people over here. Can you talk to them? And also, <laughs> can I, yeah, the rest? Yeah. I want to call the rest of the group over and I'm going to turn to my people over here. Was the one I'm going to be like, listen, play nice. We're trying to be really nice. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll get everybody. We're, we're, we're going off the rails here. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Hold on. Yeah, everybody, oh, everybody God. is here. Okay. Draha turns to you of, what do you think you're doing to these men? I didn't do anything. They're tied up. They're still here, aren't you? Aren't they? And here's the deal. Maybe you don't care about who's on your force, but I thought you did. They were a diversion for Penrose. They admitted it to me when I got here. I managed to get secure information from them. Penrose was trying to fly out of our station over here. Somehow we've delayed him. So now because of the intel I received here, he is stuck in this city. I suggest we get over to the airport and we question these witnesses. And I suggest that you question them thoroughly because I'm clear that they won't like how I question them. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, especially a metalita. Okay. Um, we yeah. It was uh, tasty. Guns are very, very good. Uh, and I'm sorry, and Karen, I'm sorry, and I really am sorry that you've had to see this, but I understand, I want you to understand, our jurisdiction here is to get the city under control, however we can do it. I want to do it peaceful, I want to find the evidence that we need. So, I'm not going to do this again, if you guys have any idea, I know that you had some leads, I'd love to do it a little more quietly, clearly these sungrasses do nothing for me, as far as intimidation. <laughs> You you, mm -hmm. you said you said Penrose was fleeing the city, and you we, we have you have it shut down, and he's heading over there. The cop is like, yes, yes, he's heading over there. Please, can you can you get this crazy, crazy little whatever she witch off of us? We'll tell you whatever you want. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Hands like that is not very nice to say about someone who clearly has more power than you. Kevin, she is eating our guns. Aren't they well, maybe if you, you weren't them? corrupt, you wouldn't be in this situation. Ah, and let's be honest. What were you gonna do with them? Shoot me? No, oh, that's me. Maybe. Okay, good. No guns, no shooting. Now play nice. He's gonna question you. Maybe. All right, Miss mm -hmm. Stone. Yes. Take. Can we take these individuals? We could question them in my car. You three. Can you can you tail us to the airport? I'm sure Penrose is throwing a fit right now. Uh, okay. Yes. I'll drive. Yes. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. I. Let's get on the move and get this day done and over with before any. Any other cops, good or bad, gets hurt. This is very this is a very good arrest. Thank you, Miss Stone. What do you mean? <laughs> good arrest! I'm sorry. Were you a cop who was abiding the law? Also, I would be quiet back there. <laughs> also, if you turn a kit your arm, you can stop the bleeding. There. I'm not gonna have you two bleed out, but you will tell us everything that we need to know about Penrose on the way there. I think. <laughs> I think I, I, he's... Unless, Faison, what, what do you have, Faison? I'm sorry. I was about to say to those two cops, like, yeah, I, I suggest you uh, cooperate unless you want us to sick Metolito on you. That'll be <laughs> we'll that'll nice. be a nice alternative. We'll play nice. 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 I just smile. Yeah. And I go, I used to be a magical girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still doing that? <laughs> Kaylin like takes out his trading cards and like creates a new one out of his journal with like Miss Stone's name on it to be made later. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you're enchanting. Uh, let's, let's, let's wrap this up and get over there before anybody else gets hurt. We're gonna take a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't go anywhere. I, you definitely... Or you'll get stabbed. <laughs> or you, you will get stabbed. You do not want to miss whatever's coming next. Because if you do, there's probably a knife coming your way. We'll be back in, we'll be back in 50. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to this honestly very good episode of Valor Live. Um, as, as was described, uh, you guys are on the way to the airport and uh, this is probably a familiar map to you guys i promise you nothing scary but i want to give you guys a little bit of chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what dragon is gonna come uh, from the sky <laughs> no no he's not I want to what police a, car i want to give you guys a chance to talk either do your own little interrogation to get a little bit more info out of the police talk as a group whatever you feel because I think Roxy stole the show a little bit back there, but let's have a little, another group scene to kind of cool down before the action picks up again. Um, do you think the uh, cops are going to be okay over there? Um. If they do what she says, yeah. Otherwise, they might get, um, they might need some more patchwork if she does it. Yeah, Ooh. so she did stab them, right? <laughs> Yeah, is that is that legal? Like, shouldn't Can she be kind of arrested? <laughs> yeah, because we're kiddo. Kid, let's we're... kiddo kiddo put it this way: she's the NDI. She's above us. There is no so, telling her what to do. As long as they get results, stab? it's good. Can she I mean, stab us? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't say anything about Not color it. red. <laughs> okay. Just and don't anything. even mention it. Your, uh, your weapon, you might want to keep a little tight clutch on that, considering what she did to their guns. Yeah. yeah Phelan, like, grab, like, is gripping his weapon so tightly and close to him. <laughs> um, do you think she's actually going to help us, or is she going to turn out, like, Mr. Arsenal and Grey Matter? What if they're corrupt, and then we have to fight them? I don't want my weapons to be eaten. This wow. was a hair an heirloom. I think. And <laughs> we like uh, accidentally leave our walkie-talkies on so she can hear everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Can I go? Can I? Can I wait and be like, guys, guys? Hi, it's me, Roxy. You left the channel open. <laughs> hi. hi, you left the channel open. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. No, um, that's all right. Let me just put you a little bit at peace here, okay? One. I'm not gonna eat your weapons. Two, I'm not going to stab you. There's nothing that you've done that's stab worthy. You guys are the good guys. Three, I need your help. I understand that my methods can be a little unorthodox. My point is to bring these down. I actually would like to gather evidence so that we can do this through the proper channels, even though those channels are corrupt. So if you can help me do that, then we will. We just don't have time to waste. There's a lot of stuff here. Also, are you telling me my glasses didn't make me less intimidating? I um, thought I looked pretty nice. I think they look good. You still look nice. You can look nice and intimidating. It's just okay. like what's on the inside that sometimes counts. Um, and sometimes, you know, like stabbing people is a little scary. That's all. I yeah. mean, no matter what you wear. Look, um, uh, Miss Stone, you're getting yes. results. We'll help you get results. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you're correct. It may not be the best way. It may not make the most friends. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to take down an organization that is harming, damaging, and hurting people. Also, I just really am a little self-conscious about the glasses because I can't really see how I look in them. I mean, I have a sense of it, but 
Someone once told me pink was my color, but red is really awful on me. Aww. I'm sure you look fine in red other than you disliking it, but... I, I hate think... it. Horrible. Yeah, but I think you look fine in any color. Aren't um, you sweet? I like them. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Do you want to give a run past this witness, see if you can get some basic information out of him? I want everything that he says on the record. Of course. Do we have someone recording it, maybe? Let me put him on speaker. Hey! <laughs> Back seat! Hi, hi, we're, we're alive. <laughs> yeah, no one's concerned about that. Uh, I've got some people here gonna ask you some concerned. questions. <laughs> I want you to answer them honestly, and I want you to remember two things. One, I want to know what your connection is with the Red Sun, if any. And just remember also, all your friends on the force, if you don't answer honestly and on the record, are going to know that you were very helpful in my investigation of them. Treat these guys like they're me. Er, if you will so long, we'll, we'll tell you what do you want. Um, okay, what's the first question then? Um, do you know anything about Red Sun? Have you been working with them? Red None of the police work at the Reds. You have, you have the sergeant right here. Well, I don't care about the sergeant. I want to know your answer. The sergeant's on our side. He didn't try to help Penrose. I'm sorry. I got a little bit upset there. Can you answer her like she's talking to me? Respect her and apologize for being so rude. Olay, you, you may roll for this. Okay. Ignore your negotiation penalty because Roxy is in the car. <laughs> um, what should I roll? Probably resolve. Yeah. Eleven. I... Oh, look, all Penrose told us was that he'd be able to get, he'd be able to work with somebody with the, within the NDI to get us off on an easy record so long as we were able to get them out of the country. That's it. He the, told you what? They yeah, he told you what? 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 <laughs> Someone with the NDI was going to get him out of the country and that he and that he would get us a lighter sentence from the outside. I don't know if that has anything to do with the Red Sun. I don't think the Red Sun and the NDI work at all. Roxy, is there any of your other people? Are they here with, would they be near the airport or? I have a team of people who are working outside. So I'm going to have to get somebody to go into an investigation and look into that. Um, oh, Roxy, when you check mm -hmm. back in on that channel, uh, that mm -hmm. cut off the static, still no signal. Um, you're able to chat in with everybody at the city limits, and they're able to report just fine um, with the information, as well as working with uh, Kostya's information. We're able to take care of the rest of the dummy cars. No one is sure what's going on at the airport right now. Is it anybody from the team, from the cop team? Is any of are any of them near there? Uh, I sent I sent my little friend uh, Lascano up there to see if he's okay. You could check in. Uh, Baraha goes on the radio. Lescano, are you there? Yep. You definitely want to get here quick. It. Uh, and Rose is going a little bonkers, and I'm trying to not let him know I'm here. We're on our way. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit as all of you guys speed up. Was there any other questions you want to ask these cops before we transition? Do we know anything about, do they know anything about the board? Penrose's board? I probably should have asked that other kid. What was his name? Penrose's what? Ward? His board. Chair. His, his board. board. Chair. Um, okay. Um, you asked these guys. Okay. So, there are people on his, that he was talking to a lot. I'm sure, I'm sure, it's already news about this. That he was working with soup I'd eat and Paul, but he's dead. He was he's working with somebody else, but we don't know who. Probably this NDI contact. I, I honestly don't know if it's the Red Sun, but somebody by the initials KV. 
KV. Oh my goodness! Like Costio Volkov or whatever Kostya his name Vol is. Kostya That's Volkov. the guy from Red. The, he's in charge of Red Sun. Can you get a confession out of him and not us? Well, we're trying, but this helps too. Cool. Um. Hey, ask him if Arsenal was involved with any though. When the night cells working with the police, his in, he was on record with some dealings with Eden Pollitt. Uh, who's gonna ask that? Um, I mean, I'm sure they heard Phazon, so they could. Okay, Phazon, um, we'll have you ask this about Arsenal, but your penalty's gonna apply. Uh, so. We'll, we'll remember to take one away from your um, thing, but roll me. It sounds like resolve, unless you're using, you could tell me the, how you're using any other of your attributes. Just to see what information you're able to weasel out about Arsenal. Anything? Not much. Hmm. I mean, our. Arsenal was just a contact who worked with the police. He worked closely with with Penrose. Baraha is able to corroborate this. But we we never see him much because of his other jobs. He goes to Wonderworks. He goes to other places. I, he also helps out you guys, Cavaliers, with what what's her name? Clover? Maybe she's the right person to ask, but I don't know what what his deal is? Who's this Clover? Um, Do you guys know? Yes. Um, she works with the Cavaliers and sort of handles scheduling and stuff like that. Huh. What about Grey Matter? Do you know anything about him? Um, uh, uh, other than his arrest, what do you want to know? Was he working with you? No. no. He, in the, he stayed put at the station and never moved. Alay, this well, I mean, before he got in the station. <laughs> never, never. He always, he was a Red Sun guy. Why would he work with the police? I'm telling Red you. Red Sun claims he wasn't working for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, as far as what we know, we never talked to anybody Red Sun. The most we ever talked to were those Enclave mages. Hmm. Huh. You guys, you guys. the lighter sentence with all the info, right? Lighter sentence? Are you kidding? Everything you're saying is going down. You're lucky that I missed. Your light sentence is a stab wound to your shoulder instead of somewhere a little more severe. I don't like dirty cops. I don't like people who cause issues and a problem. You give justice and law a bad name. I'd apologize if I were you. Yeah. That wasn't a request. That was a request. Actually, it was a request. I asked really nicely. Can you apologize? At least that's the least you can do. Apologize to me and apologize to my friends because you're really you fucked up your life. Or not. I don't know what to do. Apologize. I'm sorry. Thank you. Just make sure you put that in their statement that he squealed like a little baby and apologized for the fact that he was a horrible cop. <laughs> All right. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so that's good so guys um so i i have a question for you guys over here so we're gonna go we're gonna head over to the air we're heading over to the airport right now right so um uh do we have anybody who has eyes on red sun right now i can ask uh our police chief that's in there that uh who's our guy kb at red sun we've um... got somebody monitoring him right I'll tell you this right now. Sounds like you guys are on pretty working terms with Kosha already, and you have his number. I'm sure if you just want to keep him on a speakerphone, you can. But we don't actually have anybody watching him right now, right. or like here. Yeah. yeah. I kind of want no, to no. Just come down over there because nope. I don't trust we, him. We uh, left him to his own devices. I don't yeah. know if we want him on speakerphone all the time because we do say mean things about him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaks up. Lascano, get out of there. We're almost there and we're on our way. Go to the red sun, flash your badge. Get in there and make sure that he's not doing anything crazy, okay? We're, right, boss? Are, are you actually almost there? We'll be there in one minute. We just gotta take this turn. Okay, I'll, I'll head over there. I'll let you know what I find. 
quick. <sighs> Let's hope he's not causing too much of a ruckus at the airport. Um, well, we could ahead. just stabby stab him. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> violence isn't like the first me. answer. I just want you guys to know that. It might oh, be the which next number is answers, it? But uh, it's like number two through ten. Yeah, like okay. questions first, stab second. Yeah. Listen. What about uh, answers? I like. Well, do you guys have any answers? We got answers. We got Penrose locked up somewhere. I hope. I mean, like cornered. Yeah, that's it. That's it. that's all we got. <laughs> do you find you guys have been working this beat a while? Have you? Are these people helpful? Have the Who's been helping you out the most over here? I know you said you guys were friends with the mages too. And are we almost to the station? You guys are at the airport now. Okay. Oh. Uh, right. I'll let hey. you guys finish your conversation before we tackle whatever the heck this is. Cool. Well, so, Faraha and Roscano have been helpful. Okay. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Maybe we want to hit them up or KV afterwards. I want to make sure that we take everybody down. And like I said, if we can get evidence, let's get evidence. But if we can't, I want the people caught and I want this situation taken care of. I don't want anybody going down on my watch, any more good people going down on my watch. Hmm. And thank you oh. again. Thank uh, you. There might be a For lot helping of... us. Um. Go ahead. Nope, go ahead. I'm done. I was just gonna say, well, that looks like Mr. Penrose. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut this off before she pulls over and talk to you guys like, look, I'm trying to already put a good name that there are some good cops out there, despite what everything looks. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let my boss get away with all the crimes he's committed himself. You guys arrive at the airport, and you see, uh, see Penrose going crazy. Um, crazy uh, how? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'll, I'll show. I'll show you how. He uh, he gets off what looks to be like a some channel on his speaker starts huffing and huffing. This officer next to him comes up and is like, sir, please calm down. As long as we stay calm, we'll go ahead and we'll find another way out of as he just picks up this car with one hand and throws it over to these to these benches. What in the Don't hell? Don't you that... dare tell me to stay calm! Our ticket out of here is that and is gone. And those little brats are already on their way. As he looks down to the five. Hi, Mr. Penrose. Hi, Mr. Penrose. Uh, hello. Welcome. So to the five the of us are here. <laughs> yes, exactly. So the five of us are here. What the hell is Mr. Penrose over here? What is he? Uh, is he human? He's not human. He's an Oni. Ah, okay. Uh, that explains it. A very um, big Oni as of that. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Penrose, if you don't want to get stabbed, I suggest you put the cars down and answer our questions. And come with us quietly, or else she's gonna stab you. Well, remember I said violence is never the answer first. Mr. Penrose, we'd like to have a little conversation with you. I'm done talking. This has all gone to hell. I should be on the plane out of here. And it's not like I'm gonna let some snot-nosed little brats my, my little hamster, who didn't even suspect any of this coming, thinks she has anything to say about me going down. Sir, don't make this hard on yourself. You lost. We have all the evidence. If you keep fighting like this, you're just gonna be hurting yourself all the other good cops out there. Good cops! <laughs> good cops is just a fairy tale. Cops are there to fulfill only one purpose, and that is to do 
do what it needs to get done to put the general public under our own control. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm pretty sure you work for the public, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't work for the public. Yeah, do I'm you, Mr. Sure. Penrose? You're supposed sure to work for the public. I'm very curious, Mr. Penrose, who you've been collaborating with to get you here out of town. And I'm very curious also what you're going to do when the Red Sun takes all the credit and over your operation when you're no longer a part of it. Do you think this has anything to do with that bastard, bastard Volkov? <laughs> This goes deeper than any of you guys think. If you want that information, you're gonna have to beat it out of me. He's gonna surprise attack you guys. As he grabs, uh, he reaches his hand down and reaches for some dirt. A one, two, uh, one, two. Takes a running start. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. As he runs here, um, Roxy, Raha, and Phazon, there is a boulder coming your way. I need you guys to defend. This is a dexterity defense roll. You... Lisa? Yes, I'm trying to find the right sheet. I don't see the map on here. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also, can you guys hear the music? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I still see the car map. What am I doing? All right, so. So, if you want to open up your sheet again, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And you know how you kind of rolled like your resolve and dexterity before? On the bottom are your defense rolls. Okay, cool. Hang on a second. Let me just go back to uh, phase on. You're going to be hit and take 68 minus your defense. Jesus. Actually, I'm gonna roll dexterity, right? He's on. Yes. You, you have danger sense, don't you? Yep. You pass. <laughs> uh, Lisa, and... you, does Roxy mm -hmm. have danger sense? Even if she does, I don't think that passes. Cool. Did I? Did I? Did you see my dexterity roll? Did I roll? I did. You did it right. Um, okay, it was just awful. Uh, <laughs> it's just too low. It was a little too low. Just so. did a bad job. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. We see things. I didn't notice he lifted it over his head. You're, so you are going to take um, 68 damage minus your defense stats, which is on your sheets. I can help you up with the math, too. Okay, so you where is what? that? I'll do it for you. Thanks. 68 <laughs> plus your defense as resistance, so you're at that health. Also, you used your techniques, so you have to pay stamina for those. That's five in total. So, Ooh. that's what you're at. And, uh, Baraha needs to roll. Uh, against her old boss. Give me one second. And, where's your, where's your sheet? Dexterity defense. Do you pass? No. She doesn't have danger sense either, so she rolled even less. So, uh, she's gonna take 68 minus her defense. I'm gonna put Penrose onto the turn order, but I think we could get started. I very, very, very much don't think he's gonna outroll you guys for um, initiative, but we'll see. Are we rolling for our initiative? No, nope, you already have it. We're gonna oh, no, we did? From oh, we're just using the same ones? Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna go last, which makes sense. That was his surprise action. Roxy, mm -hmm. just throw a boulder at you. Now you're in combat. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he just, he just threw a boulder at me? How far am I from him? What do I have? One, two, three, four spaces away from him. Okay. Um, and he's an Oni? Can you... 
So there are five different genuses. Uh, oh, I do have danger sense. Yes. So, okay. Cool. So five different genuses across. Does he? What is he? Is, can I stab him? Can I hit him? What is? What is? Uh... Um, you have. You can move up to him and then use a technique to hit him, or stay away from this very visual. You already looks like you can throw daggers at him. Yeah. Um, let's let's do that because I think the daggers will reach across, right? Uh, let me check. Uh, what range is it? Like four? I think so. I think it's a range four. four. Yeah. Uh, you could definitely. Um, heck, if you if you want to move, you could also throw up against police officers that are also near him. That's not the role mission for. <laughs> um, you're on the right map, right? Uh, I'll point you to where. Yeah. Let me let me know where the. I'm not sure I am on the right map because I'm still seeing the car thing. Are you, you're, you don't see an airport entrance that's like tattered, been destroyed? Is that with their big hole in the ground with the green car? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. A little to your left. There just okay. are cars here. Okay, I see. So. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah. Oh, and he's up there. So Penrose is up over there. So. Hmm, I did want to talk to him. So he just he just threw that boulder on me. Yeah, for right now, let's throw some daggers at him. Let's see what happens. I just want to slow him down. All right, throw me your, your multiple dagger tosses. Okay. I get the tops on the turn order. 12. And Rose has got a defense. And... He rolled a 16 in defense. So, uh, you take a dagger to try to tolerate, throw it against him. He catches it in his teeth and then then starts chewing it just like, uh, something like maybe you would do. Just huh. puts it to the ground. Like, <laughs> so we're playing that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna take away three stamina from your character sheet for that dagger toss. Okay. Um, Where's uh, my stamina? Let's see. That's your stamina. bar. Okay. So, I just did the math for you because it's easier. Great, great. Uh, you have you can move around uh, to try to take another position. You have Do you have any support actions? I don't know how I don't know how Roxy fights. Well, Usually I'll get in close and I can move very quickly was my whole yeah. big thing. So, um, all right. So I, so I, we're here over here right now. We're right in front of him. So there's nothing over. He just threw that car. Uh, he threw, he threw a car to, uh, the right. You guys talked, he got mad and threw a boulder at the three of you. And then you tried to throw a dagger at him and he chewed it up. That's where hmm. we're at. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna move over closer to where uh, where Carson is. I want to try and come at him from the side, get a little bit closer up. If I can move up to like where those those doubles are there, I just want to get a little closer to him. Have uh, the ability to move your token. So just pick a spot six spaces away. So you could probably get over the side here, into these squares, it's within your reach. But yeah, just uh, left click on your token and drag it where... Did that work? One, two, three, yeah, four, five, easy. six. Great. Three, that's, yeah, easily three spaces away. Um, you could go further. Oh. Minutes, but... Oh, that was, that was three spaces this way? One, two, three? Yeah, you're right four. here, so one, two, three. Four. And I can go six, right? Or four? You can go six. Four. I'm gonna come right up over here. Okay. Uh, and I believe that'll be your turn then. Uh, till we see what, what else you can do. Phase on. 
Also, did you take that damage? Oh, wait, no, no, you, I forgot you passed danger, danger sense. sense. You, weren't, you weren't surprised. Roxy, even with danger sense, you rolled too low, so. Yeah. I'm going to, just for the hell of it, I'm going to use, uh, Spirit Sight. Spirit Sight? Yeah. Okay. Pay two stamina. Uh, give me an overall. I'll tell you what's here. Plus one, it'll be your observation roll to see kind of what's going on. Uh, this will be your support action to activate the uh, spear sight 12, and I gave you plus one to 13. Um, this place has been thoroughly cleared out based on NDI and police orders. Um, these are the only two cops accompanying Penrose, but when you look at Penrose, let me give you a good illustration of what his spirit looks like. And only you can see this, but it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like this behind him. It's much bigger than him. Oh. Uh, that's not typical. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're dealing with something. That's not a, Penrose is not your normal Oni. I'm sensing a huge spiritual presence that's bigger than him, much bigger than him. Like, like he's possessed or just something else? I don't else? know, possessed, but definitely enhanced. Maybe that's where he's getting his powers from. Like extra strength or whatever. Cause I can't move a car. But clearly we can. <laughs> yeah. Seems a little sus to me. Hmm. All right, I'm a. Uh... Actually, I'm not gonna move anywhere. I'm gonna test that spirit. Test when I'm sent it with the gamma sphere. Oh, you want to target the spirit? Yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me a roll. And the first thing is... I would have... I would have Penrose substitute here. But it doesn't make sense. So, I'm just gonna roll Zora to defend. Since I believe your Gamma Spear is an aura attack. on when you do so and hit him his spirit grows a little a little smaller it's slight um but as you as you hit him because of your ability to target the spirit that you have honed and practiced this gives you a little bit of an advantage you feel Penrose growing weaker as he takes that damage um, you feel like it's easier to strike him right now, as well as easier to defend against his techniques. But you probably need to successfully keep up the assault on his spirits and keep it growing smaller for this advantage to stay true. And now I'm the only one who can see his spirit? Unless anybody else has spirit sight, you're the only one who can see it. Alright, let me be very clear. Right now... From what I just did, it's gonna be slightly easier to attack him and defend against his techniques, but there's a problem. I need to keep up this assault to make it easier, okay? 
from what You're I'm scared. sensing. Okay. So back me up. Of course. Okay. Gonna move or are you good where you are? I'm good where I'm at. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna move right here. Okay. Okay. Rama's turn as she turns to Penrose. It's like, sir, I can't believe you're making me do this. He's like, <laughs> you think that you could beat me? You're just the whelp I took under my wing. You're, not, you're never gonna be as strong as I am. <laughs> I don't need to. I have a bunch of friends I can trust on this. Peacemaker! As she goes ahead and takes her gun and fires at Penrose, he's gonna try to uh, substitute with muscle, though. And we'll take... Uh, some damage regardless but it's not as much he's as the bullet deflects off of his neck it's like <laughs> you think a puny little peacemaker like that is gonna do anything to me <laughs> you better try harder kid damn it as she tries to get away as well one two three or five and gets away and starts circling on the right. Kazari. Um, okay. I'm going to stand here and be like, Mr. Penrose, first it was Mr. Arsenal. No, first it was Grey Matter, then it was Mr. Arsenal, and now it's you. Seems like every time someone tries to do something good and I think I like them, I get slapped in the face. So, I'm going to show you what we real cavaliers are like. And in the name of justice, I punish you. Um, Kazari, take a bow <laughs> for that little speech. I love <laughs> the sailor moon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to, um, uh, from far away, so I think I have enough. I'm gonna do the cataclysmic crater cannon. Is that right? Um, and I think that's four spaces, is that? enough where i'm uh, from does it hit in a blast because uh, even if not it'll hit him yeah okay great yeah it's a blast um so i'm just gonna like throw the wand down so that it like arches and like falls on him and, and as i'm doing it i'm just gonna go cataclysmic crater cannon and like throw it and so that it lands on him <laughs> uh oh it might miss it was a nine <laughs> You're always going to substitute, but I think he's going to actually try to jump uh, and use dexterity to defend. He fails! Yes! He, he, By he, one point. <laughs> he stumbles as uh, uh, as that bullet makes it a little harder for to press the, his muscles into his legs as your cataclysmic uh, crater cannon shoots at the ground. The ground starts to shake ground starts to shake uh he uh it's gonna take 61 minus his defense uh as he starts to shake and look at you kids like <laughs> oh i recognize you now you're that little whelp that arsenal kept in his eye always thought you'd make a good cavalier but be ashamed if he saw you Mm, I'm already a cavalier to uh, Mr. Arsenal's indisposed at the moment, so <laughs> pretty sure that's not going to happen. Weak. Just like the rest of you. Kazari, you going to move? Support? Um, I don't really have support <laughs> anything, so I'm just going to move. I'll go um, I think I have five. One, two, Three, sorry, four, five. We'll just be there. I'm trying to stay out. Okay. Me, right? Yep. Okay. 
<laughs> I had all this time to think it over, so I had to... <laughs> uh, for once, you're not going first. Yeah, well, I always go last in the turn, but I go first for everything else we try. <laughs> um, so I think, uh, because Faison is focusing on the spiritual assault, I think I'm going to go straight into physical and just, like, go right up at him and uh, wield my saber and go, TAKE THIS! And I'm gonna use saber one. <laughs> Oh! Wow! Nice. <laughs> nice! He is definitely gonna substitute his muscle to defense. He's at that minus one because of SP. Ah, a tie would still go in your favor, but uh, even with that close call, he's gonna take uh, the additional damage for failing that roll. Ooh. As well as. Yay. As well as the damage of 60. As you stick a, you stick your saber and it goes uh, and strikes him. It's probably like that, you know, pa you know, not a vital blow goes right into his side. Yeah. As uh, oh yeah, remember your stamina cost, guys. I just uh, did right. that. <laughs> Gotta do as, that. <laughs> as he looks down, it's like, so you, you think you could take me one on one, huh? I'm not alone. This isn't one on one. <laughs> <laughs> What I should say is up close and personal. Well, you're gonna regret that. We'll see, won't we? As these officers look uh, towards you guys, like, okay, okay, okay. Freeze, kid! <laughs> <laughs> um, he's like holding his weapon and like looks over at them, and he's like. Uh, I'm not sure. Are you sure you want to, like, be a part of this? Kazari. Yeah? <laughs> you didn't use your support action before, right? No. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I like this idea that you're kind of intimidating them. And Roxy's also near, who also did yeah. support action. I'm, like, nodding to her, like, mm, you sure <laughs> you want to, like... You know, be a part of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna join her in the back of this. Be like, I'd listen to the kid if I were you. Both, <laughs> both of you guys, give me, give me, give me the role you think you make makes the most sense to intimidate these guys. I can see intuition or resolve, but I can also see like muck, muscles or dexterity, depending on how like you're flashing, just how capable. So you, we want to, what are we doing? We're giving, we're doing a move to intimidate them? Pretty much. A roll, yeah. And if it succeeds, mm -hmm. they're not going to attack. Okay, and what are we rolling for this? Whatever, you, however you think you're going to intimidate them. Whether it's your so words, like, it's... like words for resolve, maybe some flashy moves with dexterity, um, maybe your aura's really strong, you want to use aura, whatever you want to use to intimidate. Just tell me how you're doing so. I guess I will use... What would dexterity be in this case? Like... Um, it'd be like a flashy move, like maybe... I don't know, I'll give you an idea. Oh yeah, no, then I'm not. I'm just using my words. <laughs> okay, you say your words. I'm gonna... Can I use a flashy move? Yeah! Alright. Before we get any further, I'm gonna... I, I don't have to do it in their direction, right? I Can, can I still send it at Penrose, or does it have to be in their direction? Um, it could... What are, you, what are you trying to do? I want to spit range, metal range. I want to spit metal. That's your technique, right? Right. Um, Can I use that or no? Not as a support, I think. What does what spit metal do? Spit metal... What can I use as a support, then? Is there... It's a support... You yeah. have skills, right? I have skills, yeah. Uh, I have... Um, Roll your dexterity. I see a skill in there called Dirty Trick. Yes, I do have that. Uh, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna treat this as my own little house rule of I'll give you a plus one on this dexterity roll for having this to intimidate with dirty trick. Cause I think, especially knowing now more about Roxy's character, this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so where am I rolling that? This uh, uh sorry. On your attributes. attributes. Just hit dexterity right. for me. Okay, I'm great. Plus one on this. And we're going to treat this as, as an assist. We'll use the highest of the two rolls and give it a plus two anyway. Okay, so that's under active, right? Yeah. Dexterity? Great. Um, there we go. Ha! <laughs> I was going to need one number for one of them to not attack. That's enough for both of them not to attack. Um, Whoa. They, they, look at, they look at you. Um... Um, you kind of do this little trick with your mouth, wanting to, like, chew some metal, like the, like the guns from before, and spit it out. And they've only seen one super powerful being do anything similar, and that's their boss. They don't want anything from that. And they back off, and we skip their turn. As Great. Penrose looks towards all of the viewers, like, what do you think you're doing, idiot? Fine. If you're gonna betray me like this, then maybe one, two, you'd be good as cannon fodder. Uh, he's gonna use a technique as he tosses this person at a way. Uh, he tosses one of the cops at us. Uh huh. That's not nice. <laughs> As a dirty cop, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's throwing oh it at me. Oh my god! <laughs> Into the slammer. As a nineteen, that this this dude's knocked out. By the way, uh, one <laughs> as he throws him. One, two, one, two, three, and it's gonna hit you, Wole. I need you to defend with muscle. Oh, that's not gonna go good. <laughs> it's, I don't think I can beat a 19 with any of mine. <laughs> um, give it a shot. I think I'm just gonna do muscle and accept, because I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? I told you. <laughs> well, here's the problem. This crits you. Yeah, oh my that's God. okay. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Um, you don't take 72 damage. You take 104 damage minus your your defense. Ooh, where does that put okay. you? Oh, Let me where see. That, where does that put oh my, my defense? I should be okay. <laughs> Let me just do the math one second. So you want so let's this will be a lesson. Even if you will still fail. Using a better attribute will prevent you from being crit. <laughs> Look, I, I just didn't, I'm tired. <laughs> it's okay. You're the guinea pig. Yeah, I'm do losing you, 81. I'll, I'll, do you want to try another attribute? No, nah, it's fine, I already did it. Okay. <laughs> I did the math, I don't want to do math again. <laughs> how, how much of a bad shape is she in? Uh, I have 169 health still. Can you see your bar? Okay, that's like about half. We can't see. I can't see her bar. Um, it's a oh, little. Yeah. Um, my health's pretty big, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm a tank, Ooh. so I can Ooh. take it. Here's the good. Here's the good thing about Alay is she is the tank. Okay. But here's the bad news. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Penrose Our healers has here? an additional attack action. Oh. Uh, 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 I can't support in this situation, right? But no. let him finish. Okay. Um, not not until your turn will be next, and you can mm -hmm. support next time. Okay. Um, as Penrose is gonna take uh, his gun and shoot at you, Alay. <laughs> and this is a vital shot. Oh my god! Okay. It's a seventeen dexterity. Okay. I'm um, rolling like fire. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, oh what? Uh, can I substitute intuition or resolve? You, you can't substitute intuition. Your your uh, your initiative's gonna be knocked down until the next turn. Okay. So honestly, it's free because the round's gonna reset next time. <laughs> so yeah, you can substitute intuition technically at no penalty because. 
the, the negative. What happens if I substitute resolve? How you, you can't because you do not have two valor. Oh, I thought it was one valor. Sorry. Um, one valor. I'm gonna double check and make sure it's a bad jam. <laughs> um, I believe. I could be wrong. Res rest with defense. If you have at least two valor, you may. Okay, it's two. Resolve sorry. Without any additional. Penalty. Okay, I'll do intuition then. Let's. <laughs> Ah! Mm. Oh my god. So, with his penalty that comes from, uh, with Phazon's additional health, um, this, this would be a 16 versus a 16, and the tie goes to the attacker. Yeah. So you're gonna take 50 minus your, um, your defense, Okay. And you're bleeding. Okay. For three turns. Well, that's fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I haven't done anything tanky in the other episodes, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> Just take all the hits. Uh, all the hits. <laughs> oh, this is great. Um, the number you're gonna take per round until. Is 17, and that's gonna be very easy to remember if we look at the turn order. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So she takes 17 damage each round? Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, cool. That's fun. Unless. Don't worry, don't worry about it. If, I, got a little, I got a little plan for that. Um. Roxy. Um, just for record, just for the record, before we move on, what is critical health for me? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, your critical health number is one hundred. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit before this. Where is she now? I'm at one forty-two. Okay. You do not want that to go below one hundred. I do yeah. have an effect that kicks in. <laughs> so, am I? Is it whose turn is it now? What's going on? Yours, Roxy. Okay. If I can I if can I use a support action and attack? Yes. Or only one. Okay. You so can people. can I I'm about how far how many how far away am I from her? From three, from Alay? Five, one, six. two, three, four spaces away from Alay. I'd like to support her with the healing if I can. Okay. That just works. You don't have to roll for it. Uh, okay. How much is a heal? Uh, I think it's only 24, but still. That's nice. Okay. And then, how far am I from this guy here? Um, one, two, Ten three. Rows, five. Oh, I'm only five away from him? Yep. Okay. And you can still move. Okay, cool. So, let's get, um, uh, can I, can I get in closer to him and then spit metal at him yeah you don't even need to get close unless you just feel a little a little flavorful um spit metal what's your range on that a line six is six yeah yeah um let's see one two three um you would need to move you need to move because the line has to go in a straight direction even diagonal but you could just move off and you could just do a spit metal Okay, cool. So if I just go here, like let's say, just get a little closer. I don't need to go all the way up. Yeah, no, that, that's easy. Easy cool. spit metal. So a roll me spit metal. Um, that's a mind defense. He's going to. He's going to substitute dexterity, which means he'll take additional damage if he fails. Okay. Did I do it? Uh, we're going to see. Uh, with his penalty, barely. Um, so this molten metal that you just spit goes uh, through him. He takes additional damage um, based on, I forget, I think it's your damage event. I'm going to check. When you, uh, you take an additional damage, it's equal to the damage event. Okay. And it's going to go on for three turns, right? Does it? Does yes, it does. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I didn't know this was persistent. Okay, sure. Um, uh, that's what you're telling me. Then yeah, if it's persistent, then one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't think you. I didn't think anybody took that ability. Yeah, the, there's just a line of molten lava. Oh. Uh, <laughs> As pink as your sunglasses, apparently. <laughs> uh, going through him. Um, I'm just gonna move your sheet because I need to know what your damage is. Because he's gonna take over 14. Perfect. I want to make sure that I'm right on that. Oh, did I? Or maybe I'm, I might be wrong. It might not be. Uh, oh, I may have done the wrong thing. Hang on. Well, I already did that. I was going to do something else. No, I think it only hits for this one turn. There was another one another that one? does that. Yeah, no, I was going to, the spit ranged metal, I was going to set him on fire. That's the one that goes on for a while. Never mind. That's okay. I hit him with metal. <laughs> you did. And, and I'm happy for it. You did do additional damage to him. Great. He's not looking good. Great. I'll set him on fire next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bad cops burn. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the mood. Don't mess with these people. Phase on. Uh, because it's your turn again, his spirit uh, wants to return to normal size, but you can still see it if you pay your stamina cost to keep up your spirit sight. Which is I'm paying the cost. All right, you see it. Also, this dude. I'm going to tint him a knocked out red. Uh, I'm going to move here. Uh, okay. Oh, everybody, take one valor. I forgot there was a new round. Oh, yeah. Yay. And I'm gonna keep up the spiritual assault with my gamma sphere. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I like. I like this. Um. So. Go ahead and roll me that. I'm gonna roll his his aura defense for right now. Um. I, I don't want to limit you to just Gamma Spear. If you want to attack like any of, of your uh, cool techniques, feel free. Because um, I don't want to limit you to just Gamma Spear or if you don't feel like you want to use it super often. But as of right now, he will defend with his aura. And... Mm. Unfortunately, his aura is a little more resolute this time around. He did roll a, a max 10 to make up for it. So, unfortunately, his aura starts to return back to original size. You miss, uh, and he's feeling a little bit more at full strength as he looks to you. Like, you, you see my little trick. <laughs> that means you're the priority target. Um... Faison, you still have a support action, I believe, because I believe maintaining spear sight's free now. Uh, a free action, I should say. Um, did you want to take it, or are we going to move on? Paul? Um... Let me use the support action. What are we doing? Let's see what I can do for a support action. I think you have some options. Um, chakra and inner focus are both support actions. Let me use inner focus for... Okay. You don't need to roll anything. Uh, you have physical attacker, which uh, let me just make sure I got that right of what it does. Increase your strength and attack by six. 
Okay. Um, we'll remember that. I'm gonna give you a nice little icon. We're gonna, we're gonna give you... Give me these lightning bolts that you're powered up. So we don't forget. Uh, take the stamina cost, and now it's raw. Oh, I forgot. So we'll also take the stamina cost for Peacemaker. <laughs> um, what turn is this? One, can't do what she wanted to do. Um, what she will do. Um, is run up to Penrose. One, two, Three is like I'm not gonna let you hurt them, sir. Why don't you face the long arm? Oh, this is a muscle attack. Bad move for uh let's see if you beat it. 18! She might succeed! Yeah, 18's great. <laughs> she might <laughs> might actually do this. Yay! Uh, come on. It, she does. Woo! So as she takes her arm, she spins around uh, Penrose and just pulls it ar around his feet to sweep him up and smashes Penrose down. Uh, he is he is knocked prone from this. Um, as she starts to breathe a little heavily, uh, miss misses her own step. And is knocked down as well. It's like, don't worry about me. Just go ahead and take this advantage while you can. Uh, all attacks get a plus one until he gets back up. Oh my goodness. Or he defends at a minus one, but mostly a plus one to you. We'll remember that. Uh, Kazari. Cool. Yeah, I see him get knocked down, and I'm just gonna like sprint at him. And as I'm doing, I'm gonna raise the Guam Dao over my head and just yell, "Keen Eclipse!" and like bring it down right on Woo! him. Take a valor. Yay! For shouting that and roll me. Um, I will move Put him. Go, cool. and then Keen Eclipse. Do, 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 do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we are. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh. Um. Wait a second. You have. You a... What? <laughs> no, you have a you have a thing. You have a skill. You have a skill. A uh, team tactics. One of yes. your allies is adjacent to the target, but not adjacent to you. You get a. Plus oh yes, one. I get a plus one. But. That's... Ferrara's yeah. not adjacent to him, right? Yeah, 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 she is. Oh, okay. Diagonally. 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 Right. Okay, so that counts. Okay, great. All right. So I just put a ticker on his defense, so this is the right number. Eleven. E. So easily hits. Uh, yeah. One. Damage. Minus or with the addition of his defense. As uh, you go ahead and you start tearing up as you spin your Guan Dao, his nice little suit gets all dirty and, t and torn. As he looks to you, it's like, <laughs> Bad move, kid. You don't want to get close to me. Olay. Okay. <laughs> 17 damage. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh wait, I accidentally did equal 17. I, I have way more than 17. Wait. Hold on, where are you at? Sorry. <laughs> I died. She no, died. no. <laughs> I think it was like 140 something, 142 maybe? Uh, 142 sounds right. Is there no control, <laughs> control Z? Uh, let me see if I can control I don't know. It's not doing anything. 142 sounds right. I can probably we can check out this chat. Hey, 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 chat! Any of you <laughs> wizards in there? <laughs> we made an oopsie. <laughs> oh man! Wait. God. I can just okay. It's minus 17. <laughs> God. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Or was it then at the 160 with the health? Yeah. It was, um, it was, no, I remember it was 163. Okay, 163, my, cause I, I forgot. It was 140 before the- um, Before the heal. Yes. 163 minus 17. 17. <laughs> Wait, okay. Mary, you're killing me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say I did all my stamina things without having to be told. So. Alright, no. Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna make characters not inflict any. Um... Okay. So what <laughs> I'm going to do? Yeah. Well, uh, it's bleeding. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Uh huh. And I am going to. Save her! I'm tired. Oh no! Oh no! Abuse your saber, aver, 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 aver. And it is a fifteen. That intuition. Yeah. All right. take damage regardless. Oh, he, he's gonna take additional damage. Oh, yeah. So 60. Pay What's back, it? baby. Hey, tell me, tell me your damage increment while I do some math. Uh, let me look at it. Um, yeah, a nine. I believe it's damage increment. I keep closing the thing I need. Uh, <laughs> you will take an e even if you succeed, you take attacker damage increment. I was right. I I know the system. Good job. <laughs> uh, these oh, man. I think these officers are a non-factor, especially <laughs> and Rose threw one of them. This one's booking it. He's using every action to just one, two, three, four. <laughs> His attack action one two three four is support. He's he's out of here. He's finding his own way out of the city. Good luck. Uh, so we can remove them from the turn order. Penrose. Oh, I was actually gonna do support action too. Go for it. Um, I was going to. Can I move again too? Since I only moved one spot, or? Um, because you use a line technique, right? Yeah. If if you're. I'll let you move, but you still gotta create a line to Penrose. Oh, I moved towards him. That was my move first. I was asking if I could move after. Mm, mm, you can't split your move. That is a okay. Skill, got it. Guys. Sorry. But if there was a if there was a better position, I'll let you take it so long. As no, I that was the position I wanted. Okay. <laughs> Did you, did um, support? my support action, however, I wanted to use disengage, which heals me. <laughs> All right, that works. So, you yeah. Twenty-four damage. Um, it also has. I'm not sure if anyone's in the range of it. It has a. It has range three, blast radius one. Range three, blast one. Um, you can I'm heal me. yourself and Roxy. You can heal yourself and Raha, or you can <laughs> phase on. Roxy and Kelly. Well, I'm doing me. So, who needs it? <laughs> so, everyone else. Is, uh, wow, okay. Um, oh but who needs God. it more between Roxy oh and Braha? Good question. Braha's at 132. Roxy's at, I believe, 144. I guess I'll give it to Braha. <laughs> she, she appreciates it. <laughs> Uh, and she, then I heal myself did too. Knock her and Penrose down with that. So, uh, tech blast technique. Speaking of Penrose, uh, he's gonna use a fun support technique. He's gonna use a support action to get up. Kazari. Yeah. Um. Uh oh. Yeah. You, uh oh. You and Phazon <laughs> are uh, his prime targets right now. So. <laughs> now you're gonna see why approaching me was a bad move. Reach for the sky! <laughs> uh, 12 dexterity roll for you to defend against. 
If oh, you okay. fail, you're gonna get launched. What? <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, I gotta wait. die. Boy, we abandoned our boy! I can't see, that's it. <laughs> I've abandoned my son! Wait. What's up? What's he doing to you? Uh, this is the first attack that you're gonna He's take launching me in the air, Lisa. Damage and launched. Now he's gonna try to follow up on that by grabbing him into me. Grabbing you in the air and using into the slammer. Oh no, no. he's too young! Oh, yeah, no. I'm just an intern. Uh, <laughs> um Steve, you could dodge in the air. Right, can I so if I substitute, uh, what happens? Um it what do you want to substitute? Also Dexterity damage minus your defense. Mm, I didn't do that math, but <laughs> <laughs> I was too distraught. <laughs> about uh, being launched into the end. Dexterity, if you fail, you will take additional damage. If only if okay. you fail. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so 43, and then my health is. Hold on, let me just do my math real fast. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, uh, substitute for dexterity, because I know muscle will, like, get me nowhere. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> muscle strong. is, like, my least. Uh, let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen! Oh. Ha! Uh, uh, twist! Okay, so you're still in the air. He tries to grab you. You're able to use your kind of guandao to move, like... Like, you know, like a helicopter. Yeah, kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> take a show. It's like, I love that. Take a, take a valor. That's such a cool image that yeah. you're using your helicopter to like. That he tries to grab you now that you're in the air. That's so cool. <laughs> Are you guys okay with going a little over? I know that's usually the trend of guest episodes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Uh, you're doing good damage to Penrose, and I don't want to cut this fight short. Um, so, um, you, he, so, he misses, you're flying up in the air with your <laughs> helicopter going down, he's, as he reaches, like, Ugh, damn it, uh, as he, uh, he and his spirits back up a little bit, uh, one, two, three, four, damn it. You guys are tougher than I thought. I'm not gonna lose here. Not when I... Not when everything was going so right before. New turn. Everybody, take an additional Valor. And Roxy, it is your turn. Okay, so we have, so we have two Valor now? Um, some people have more, but... Okay, some people have more. I have two. Uh, what, um... How close is he to... His, he's in bad shape, right? Uh, Let's see. He's not looking good. Um, you're not sure how bad he's, bad he's looking, but you do have a, you do have a certain someone who could figure that out. We do, How can we figure that out? Can we do, um, do that? Ale is a, a tactical genius. Who oh. Could, who can read people. Uh, yeah, just, but I would have to wait for my turn, I believe. Oh, uh, to figure that out. And we, we, uh, so what can I do? I can take a support action and then I can, I can take an attack, right? But I can't take them both at the same time, right? You can do both. You could, you have three actions every round. A move, a support, and an attack. Okay. So, can I take a support after? Oh, no, I think I should do it. Before. In any order you want. And you do have a few skills that also borrow your on your support. Yeah, I was looking at. I'm trying to think if this is a decent time to do faint because I'm still trying to figure out some of these. If I use that as a support, but um, what are we, we're we only supposed to go to ten. We're gonna go past. We gotta get rid of this guy, right? <laughs> Let's see. You guys feel good about that? We wanna get rid of this guy, right? Right. Uh, okay. You can faint him. He's in range. He isn't right. I also kind of let's. Uh, I, I 
kind of I, I kind of want to throw my cards down at the table at some point soon because <laughs> I am very unhappy with the way that he's dealing with this kid, which I want to tell him. I'm very unhappy with all of that. And if I did if I did any kind of ultimate action, that's not going to give me much of an increase, is it? Let's oh, see. it definitely will. All right. So then that's exactly I'm like, I'm just going to go like, I'm tired of playing games with you right now. Okay. But like, I'm like, I am tired of playing games with you. And I want this to end. So I'd love to take, um, can I take, uh, can I do my sync action on him? Can I transform? Do I have enough to do that? Because I'm below my hit points. That takes two, right? Yeah, and that is the support action. So right. You want to you use your sync action? Yeah, I would like to use my All sync right. action right now. Um, phase on, I'm going to move you. <laughs> oh. um, do you want... I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, yeah. Roxy's Roxy's transforming. Do you want to be as Roxy pushes against you as you transform? Do you want to go away to Penrose or closer to Penrose? Closer. You're gonna. I'm pushing you up here then. Cool. And I'd like to give a rousing speech as I do this. What you have done at this point to these people is unacceptable. You give law a bad name, and what you have done to mine is beyond acceptable. Beyond unacceptable. I'm gonna do that. It's time for you to pay. Uh, I'm gonna give you an additional valor for that speech as you uh, immediately grow. Um, your skin and armor start to mold. Uh, as your new form takes place and uh, I uh, oh my this. god are you a dragon told you I didn't like what they did to that kid <laughs> what uh, you gain yeah, but... a 50 health as you transform <laughs> Um, as you grow immensely stronger and in size, it's much harder to hit you, which I'm gonna put on your sheet real quick. And the dragon has been unleashed. You have a move oh. and an attack now. Right, lower the music. What's the, what's the worst attack I have now that I can use? Um, your worst attack? I don't know. Let me tell you. Um... I think your scariest attack, honestly, is uh, either your rush attack or setting this dude on fire. Set him on fire. I said I was going to do it. Now's the time. <laughs> I'd like to use that. Be one, two, you're in range now that you're a dragon. That's a, <laughs> that's a Ouch. max. Yeah. Ouch. Holy shit. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna try to defend this might crit. Let's oh see God. how he does. Yeah. Not very well. <laughs> crits. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so as you set him on fire, uh, why don't you flavor this to me? How, how does Roxy in this form set people on fire? To, to describe it to me. Um, well, I would like to think, I know I had the medal that I did over four, but we lower, we lower our little score down just the tiniest bit. So, um, I guess we spit fire. I'm going to open up. I'd like to do a roar or two beforehand. Cause I feel like that just for a fact, it makes me feel better. It makes oh, me sort on, of yeah. angry. You got it. Okay. I'm going to let out a huge roar and then like to shoot out as much flame as I can. If I don't flame, I guess it'll be <laughs> hot metal that'll just sort of be on fire. Uh, the hot metal starts pouring on onto Penrose. His skin starts to char as fire just is engulfing him. Um, it is very, he is just in an inferno based on everything you just tossed at him. Uh. It's just burning him. 
to the core until the fire starts to dissipate. And I'd like to just continue to just add a little conversation on the back end of that. But like, I gave you the opportunity to come forward and do this in a way that would work. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> did I do all the damage to him? I did. And he's, and he's still scorching. And how much damage is that? It's the and this... Damage. 17, because I know that number. He's also going to keep taking 17 damage on his turn. As he turns to you. <laughs> Lower the score just a little bit so I could hear you. He's, he's As he's scorching, he turns to you. <laughs> dragons just dragons everywhere <laughs> this really is bigger than me and everybody <laughs> let this be the day Penro slays the dragon oh it will be writing about my feet once I bury you in the dirt you stone witch big talk burning man <laughs> Uh, I could take a little bit more licking than that. <laughs> he starts coughing and wheezing, trying to act up, but he can't. <laughs> um, Roxy, you can move if you so desire. Right, or that's the last move that I that I have. Yeah, I'd love to get a little closer to him, right? So where am I? Let's see. Mm. How, how far can I move now? Um, I think you still can move six spaces. I'm a little bit unsure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that good? Can I go there? Uh, I'm pretty fast. You you are pretty fast. <laughs> pretty big. Got a long um, reach. See. Yeah, easy. You you can reach there. Great. As you start to stand menacing over Penrose. Um. Next is Phazon. I'm going to keep my spirit sight up. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> and again, any space that targets Penrose, you can use that as an excuse to target his spirits. Um, and just so we're not limiting you to just Gamma Spear, I know Phazon has a lot of tools in his arsenal as well. Yep. So I'm gonna get do some hand-to-hand -hand combat with Heavenly Rush. Ooh, okay. Uh, go ahead and roll for Heavenly Rush. Uh. And this is gonna. This is gonna make you fall as well, but uh, okay. He falls the, like. Uh, part of, unfortunately, even with the fire, it's hard. There's a little bit of smoke coming out around. It's a little hard to get him with the heavenly rush. Uh, Penrose, as part of your technique, having the falling limit, you are tripped at the end of this. Unfortunately, unable to get a good hit in on Penrose. He coughs away. <laughs> Damn you. Damn it. Making me Don't I have roller recovery? Do you? Uh, so with rolling recovery, uh, as part of your move, uh, you can get up and I believe uh, keep your move as you as what's when when next you have to move on prone rolling recovery let me see y y yeah when you get up from uh prone you can also move so you won't be in that much uh danger on your next turn to get up in fact you can get up right now and circle around him with your support action if you'd like to do that yep Okay, uh, moved. Yeah, I'll let you. Uh, one, two. Yeah, as you roll up and recover this way. Um, 
Not sure if that's exactly by the book, but we haven't had you use rolling recovery a lot, so I'm going to throw you this bone. So, uh, those are all your moves. Yep. Braha is going to spend her uh, move to get up. Uh, as well as... Mm -mm. Yeah, and her... She's going to substitute her for support action to move closer to you, Kazari. Mm. And she's going to try to help. He's like, hold on. I don't do this often, but the old medicine. Uh, uh thanks. Take, take 36 health. Okay. Oh, he's going to... Oh, thank you, Miss Faraha. Yeah, just move your arm and... Yeah, she just uh, puts, a, puts a nice little... Uh, What's it called? A little bandage wraps your arm up. Uh. I heard what you did to Arsenal. Give, give Penrose the same help. Okay. If I can remember what, uh, 192, eight. Yes, I can do math, guys. There's <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little trick. Put the plus sign and put 32. Like. Oh, when you're typing it in? Yep. See, that is what I did, but I accidentally hit the equal sign. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, uh, cool. Um, it's my turn? Sorry, I missed that. Um, it's your turn. Cool. So as I, like, helicopter down and get bandaged up, and I'm like, okay, Miss Faraha, let's do this! And then I'm gonna be like, Miss Stone, that, that was so cool! Can I... <laughs> Can I set things on fire? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With my awesome let me try <laughs> technique? You, you paid attention to science class. You start scraping by because your friction means spark. I like spark use, fire. yeah. Uh, as you start swinging at the ground and air with enough friction that you light uh, your Guan Dao and throw it. To Penrose, oh. roll, roll your dexterity to attack. Okay. Penrose rolls to defend. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> Kazri's secretly a dragon. Kazri. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he talks to all the dragons. <laughs> Great. And can oh. I very rumbly say, "Good work, kid." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, thank you, Miss Stone! <laughs> Ty goes to you. <laughs> uh, damn. Austin, I might need a little help on the math here. <laughs> uh, uh, does it keep the same as the technique that he copies? Yeah. I'm going to pull up, Rose, I'm gonna pull up uh, Roxy's. Okay. Sheets and see. I think, think it's 40, 49 minus resistance, according to scrolling up. <laughs> My. Well hit, though, as more fire starts to engulf Penrose. He's starting to look especially weak. Can I, can I roar for good measure just in support of her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on oh, one second. Uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll have you roar. Yeah, Kaylin will also roar after, <laughs> but like not as gravelly. <laughs> okay. You'll just be like, <laughs> 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 You know what? Both oh. of you guys take an additional valor. <laughs> Remember to use it. We're coming to the end, near near to the end. I have like a stock that I'm sitting on. If anybody needs anything, <laughs> please let uh, me know. Uh, Austin uh, helps me out. So 65 damage, and he's gonna. Does that stack? I see no reason why that wouldn't stack. <laughs> Because this is a technically your own technique. I'm gonna say it stacks. He's gonna take 24 damage. No, 17 yeah. times two. That's 50, 50, 34, 34 damage on his turn. Yeah. <laughs> Alay. Um, Penrose is looking very worse for the wear. 
he may go down just to the fire, but uh, um, a help would, would certainly be appreciated. I'm going to first do size up. Okay. Just in case, just so we can know how he's doing. Um, which is an intuition roll uh, against him, and he can defend with either intuition or resolve. Okay. Um, he'll defend with his own uh, resolve. He's a roll good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you read him like a book. I'm not. Um... I mean, there's not much left at this point, but I was like, might as well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I get to know his uh, health, stamina, active attributes, and flaws. 80, 89 is his current health. <laughs> You guys are doing pretty good against a master class enemy like him. Um, Yay. He, he is gonna go ahead and uh, his active attributes, his best are muscle and resolve. He is a tank. Okay. Um, I'm going to um, move one, two, three, four. <laughs> Um, and I am going to, uh, just, uh, oh wait, yeah, I guess I'll do say bara ra ra again. <laughs> 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 With a little more energy this time, because I healed. <laughs> say bara ra 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 ra. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good, though. <laughs> Did not do a good job. Can I use my three valor? Oh, I can help too. Oh wait, he got a seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. You can turn this into a crit. I would love to turn yeah. this into a Five crit. Plus three makes I will help you. Crit. Yeah. So, I if you want help. to spend three of your stamina, Alay, and somebody wants to... It, I'm gonna guess fire enchantment onto this Saber Aura. <laughs> oh my god. As uh, flame starts to engulf uh, your Saber, as you drive it through all the flames that's been in, like, <laughs> encompassing Penrose, start to go through six, so that's gonna be 60, plus, if, I don't think it's gonna kill, but I, th I think this, or uh, knock him out, but, what's your damage increment? No, um, oh, no, not your damage increment, what's your intuition attack? That's on your third, or your mind attack, What? that's your third thing. Um, my mind attack? Yeah. Um. Uh, my base like mind or where is it? Uh, you know. Oh no, three? I see. It's thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this would be when it's Penrose's turn as he huffs and puffs and tries to use a technique as of his own as he goes onto a knee. Weak as the fire on him starts to encroach. He's running out of steam to keep this battle going. He turns to you, uh, Roxy, looking up at this immensely tall dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, unable to act. I think it's very fitting that Miss Stone here, this doesn't need to be a technique. This could be anything you want. This is going to be what pacifies Penrose. What does Roxy do to finish the fight? What do I do to finish yeah. the fight? Complete, complete, it could be complete roleplay. You could use a technique. How does, how would Roxy Stone, like knowing that this, that Penrose is on his last leg, finish, finish the deal? I would say, <laughs> Uh, what? How much damage would a headbutt from me do as a stone dragon? <laughs> as a stone, you know what? Uh, probably a lot. Uh, so I would like to say this is from the dragons, and then I'd like to headbutt, and I know I can tunnel, and I would like to take him and smash him as far into the ground as he will possibly go. Okay. If that, if I think that'll be a, a good amount of damage, either that or I'll faint, and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll rush and light him on fire, but um, I'm assuming that that'll finish him, because I just don't know how much damage that takes, so. Um, 
Like it doesn't matter. This will finish the job. All right. Yeah. Then I'd like to. I'd like to kill him like a dragon. <laughs> are you gonna kill him? If I can, I can knock him out. I mean, where are we gonna take him? Is anything gonna hold this dude? Um. This. This is what Miss Stone would. Would Miss Stone take Penrose alive or take him in dead? This you, point. The MDI has a cell that can hold him. That's not a question. This is what is meant when Miss Stone, like Miss Stone, leave Penrose alive or see that all of this damage he's done, he's not worth leaving alive. What does Miss Stone think? There's no you... wrong answer. Whatever you think, Lisa. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cat. I think she's going to put him into. Yeah, the cat. The cat was like, do <laughs> so what cute. you need to do. <laughs> yeah. Kill him. Kill him. We <laughs> still have the red sun. There's more information. I'm sure we can find his books in his lab. So, yeah, I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to put him in. You. Head... Let's just say I'm going to hit him as hard as I can. And if he happens to die, <laughs> who's and, even watching? And roar. I'd like to roar and then smash him and just say, this is from the dragons. You reel your head back, smash him uh, deep into the dirt. You see a great hole as he sinks through into the dirt. Uh, it's very hard to look down and see any any type of end to this hole you just created under him as you smashed him. Um, there's one thing that is very clear. Mm -hmm. And that Penrose will not be a burden anymore as you reel back your head. A roar. And I'd like to turn to the party and say, I'm sorry you had to see that. But thank Actually, you. I'm glad I saw that. Kaylin is like starry eyed and he like comes up and he's like, Oh, Miss Stone? That was yes. amazing! Um, are, are there more dragons like you? Do you guys have a village? Did you know Immortal Wind? Did you live with Immortal Wind? Or, uh, I'm sorry, this and de and he just like goes on this whole list of questions. He's like, I oh, think them. can we, can we be like pen pals? Can we <laughs> talk to each other? Um, Miss Stone, yes. I think the more pressing question is something one of those policemen you uh, did patchwork to earlier said that there might have been an inside man in your NDI unit. That yes. could be something worth that you're gonna have to look into. Oh, don't that's worry. That's very dangerous. Yes, don't worry. Um, can I transform back into a person now? Is that possible? <laughs> is, it, is that a thing that I can do? Or do I have to wait for a turn now no, that he's you, dead? You can do it. Uh, let's, let's turn you back into a person. Oop. Cool. <laughs> I'd like to turn back into a person. <laughs> Tell me when I'm there. You're a person now. <laughs> Great. I'm going to flip my hair. <laughs> and I'm going to say, don't worry. I intend to look into it. <laughs> and smile. And, I, and then I'm going to say, see, I told you I was less intimidating this way. <laughs> well, you got uh, a window over here in Cali. Cali you got... Like Takes a picture. I mean, he's like, "Can I take a selfie? Um, can we? Can we be? Can we be friends on on the bluebird? Um, can we? Can we?" Uh... Bluebird. I don't. I don't do much. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I don't actually see. Yes, if you look closely. Yeah. So they have accessibility in text to speech. <laughs> oh well, then all right. <laughs> yeah, help me make a can... login, and I'll get on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll make one right now. <laughs> he like take right. out his phone. And uh, Ferrara, like were you the one driving? I. You, we know where the cars parked. No, I'm talking about when you were in the car with Miss Stone. Were you the one driving? Of course, I was the one driving. <laughs> okay, good, because <laughs> these other two kiddos didn't know that you were blind. Oh, well, don't is... worry. I can see all of you. I have my... How do I use my echolocation? Um, can I hear it? Um, it it just... It happens. Um, yeah. Speaking, uh, just your sound waves start to reflect yeah. off of everybody, and they come back. Um, it's, I... it's a lot easier when you speak very loudly and shout, though. 
Cool. So I'm gonna shout over and like, I can see all of you. I just can't tell what colors you're wearing, which is why I asked about the red. <laughs> Never actually seen it. Like I said, it looks bad on me, but also I just think it's a vulgar color. <laughs> Unless you're spitting a certain red at, cer at uh, let's say, a Pemrose. Well, then every color's a rainbow. I haven't actually seen one of those either, but still. I hear they're very exciting. <laughs> That's why she doesn't like me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that gave me a good tickle. I want to thank you all personally for the work you've done. I have to root out an NSI agent that's definitely in there. There's dirty cups still to find, dirty cops. Sometimes I sound a little there, but also I'm still not very happy with this. What was his organization? I just know it was Red. Red Sun. Red, Red Sun. Red Sun. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have our hands full with him in the future. We'll yes. take care of it. While you go okay. root out the NDI agent. And also, right. can you say hi to the dragons with me? I mean, for me? Um, I can give you my contact info and they can, I don't know, talk sometimes if they ever want to. Uh, here you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, is that your, uh, is that your cell phone? Uh, yep, yep, that, that's All right. my cell phone. Come here, take a picture with me. <gasps> I'll send it back to, how'd you call him? Immortal winds people. Okay. Do you uh, personally really like know Immortal, Immortal Wind? Off. Being a dragon yourself? Well, I've been around a very, very long time. Different uh, communities, but word gets around. Oh, there's so many of you hidden in plain sight. Can everyone shapeshift? He's just gonna keep going. So. Um, uh, <laughs> I have so many questions and he like, Writes out, takes out a journal and like writes them all down. That's great. Can you also, I'm a little bit hungry. Does anybody see a gun or a knife or a scrap of car sitting around? I could use a nosh. Can you hide your weapon? I, no, there's cars over there. We look just like, all right, it's, I'm just going to get a snack. I'd like to go and pick something up. Yes, yeah. Nosh. Scrap metal buffet. Knock yourself out. Cool. One or two. I'm not going to be greedy. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I'm sure these perfectly, perfectly reasonable drivers have insurance for accidental engorging. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. Their car was just thrown. It's a mess anyway. It's <gasps> gonna be junked. Hmm. Classic car tastes good. <laughs> vintage. Uh, vintage. Vintage. Mm, mm. Yummy. Uh, where'd, our police, really well. where'd our police? Where'd our? Where'd our? Where'd our police chief go? Are there? Are our police coming over there? Here. Actually, I'm going to check in and make you. sure that this isn't the only victory we have. Uh, she, as she radios, um, Lascano, like Lascano, Lascano. Is everything good at the Red Sun? Lascano. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry for all. Uh, Everything is fine over here. Uh, nothing fishy going on with Kosha. He was just watching, watching this little map of his. Um, I'll be, uh, I'll report back as soon as possible. Uh, just give me a detailed report. I don't trust that man. Are you guys actually gonna follow up on him? Something like tells me he might have been keeping track on all of us here. Well, on my car, he knows, but you guys. Yeah, but Les Cano's there too. Who's to say that uh, he didn't try to exert his influence? He was and, looking at a map. And I'll tell you guys, Penrose didn't do this alone. So he's clearly got a board. He's got a sort of operators that are going. And until all of those are shut down. There's still, there's still potential issues in this city. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine things are gonna be fishy, and the NDI is still gonna be crawling all over us and make sure that nothing else goes wrong. But I can't thank you enough for your help, Miss Dawn, in taking care of my old boss. You're welcome. 
I wish that this wasn't something that had to happen, but I'm glad that you're in charge. And if that ever changes, you'll know. I... That was me being nice. What? No. What? <laughs> People tell me I sound intimidating. No. I'm just saying it's a point of fact. No. It's going to be like, that was nice. Hand out just... the pink glasses. <laughs> you were very exactly. <laughs> I put them back yes. on. Slowly hand them out. <laughs> you were very nice. No, it's just more so of. I'm. I guess I'm in charge now. As far as the police goes, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, why don't we hop in the car and I get all of you home? I think I'm more. I think I. At least I'm happy with getting tonight over with. Uh, I'll. I'll finish the paperwork on to... Well, Miss Stone. Yes. Did did you need to take... Do we need to dig up the body? Or what do your what do your people need out of Penrose? No, he's... We know he's gone, but... Um, I need to get all the evidence set up for the NSI so we can charge. We have to find all the affiliates. And um, technically... Uh, cause I, I'm a, as a, as a, as a stone dragon, I can sort of dig. So I would probably get there a little bit faster than you guys. Can we that grab him out? That was weird. Yeah. Should we dig down? I guess maybe I should make sure that he's there. Why? Uh, maybe one oh. thing, but I never sensed the only with that type of spiritual presence. This is far bigger. He was right than anything anybody said. That's the reason why I came here. The things that they were able to do, the mind control, the ass as we were talking, that's next level, high level stuff. Um, how about this then? This seems like your expertise. The rest of you, why don't I get you back to the Equalist office, get you back to your car and let Miss Stone do what she does best and call this a job well done. Sounds good. I'm still bleeding. Uh, <laughs> we, can I heal her? Is that possible? Can I help her out just a little bit? I'm sorry about that. I was. It's okay. Uh, yes. Um, um, you guys will get back uh, a health and stamina increments onto the next scene as we uh, dig into what happens next time on Valor Live. I think that's Ooh. where we're going to call it quits, though. <laughs> oh, Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah. I think I did my job. Did I do my job? Uh, <laughs> I think so. That guy's dead. He just dead. stabbed oh. a few people. No big deal. I think the, uh, you I, burnt a few others? Roxy, <laughs> watching Roxy Stone was probably one of the most, like, most interesting time I've ever the most interesting time I've ever had GMing any game. <laughs> I, I had the ability to do what I wanted. They said I could handle it how I wanted no, to. No! <laughs> I, I give my players as much freedom as possible because that's the stuff I love seeing. Uh, Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> thank I, you. I hope thank you had a you. lot of fun uh, playing thank you. this fun little game of ours. I did. This is a great time. Thank you guys for having me. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, let's go ahead and get some closing business out of the way. Did we? Did we get some fan art? Oh yeah, we did. Uh, Charlie, Yay! Can we go ahead and uh, throw that fan art onto the stream? Yeah, I'll give you. Um, let's see, a direct link to this. And I put it, uh, I always send it to Austin privately. It's in the Zoom for everybody. There it is. <laughs> uh, Lisa, I don't think you want to miss this one. Oh, my oh let goodness. me check on here. Let me see. What do we got? <laughs> oh, I can't see it. Why can't I see it? Hang on. If you do the earlier link, I think we have it. 
fun stream very soon once Charu gets the uh, the link in there in the in the Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put an extra character there. That that's the right link. Damn it, Zach. <laughs> hey, the <laughs> up hyperlinks. Ah, uh, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I love it. <laughs> oh, Listen, gosh. there's only one way to make sure that people can't use their tongues. And that's mean... to eat them. <laughs> Why don't we just do that here? Yeah, I was gonna say, real life. Let's eat yeah. the guns. Just eat them. <laughs> Yay. Happy music while we uh, close things out. I want, I want to thank again, Lisa Ortiz. Thank you so much for joining. Glad you had fun. Thank my fellow players. You guys are so much fun to play all these sessions with. I hope you guys are also enjoying the story I'm throwing at you guys. Everybody oh, yeah. behind the scenes, Austin who puts all this together, Char for the stream help, uh, Six and Heart, the artists, work their butt off. Again, check us out on ValorousGames.com, and especially our store envy, $10 off for the rest of the year. You do not want to miss it. I know it's getting late. Um, I don't think there's any other super important piece of business. So unless there's a, a nice little closing statement we have, I think we're ready to say uh, goodbye to chat. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, chat. <laughs> Thank you so Bye. much. Join us Thanks next time while we continue the story. And I believe explore Callan's backstory. Yes. So you don't want to miss that. See you all next Friday. Bye. Bye-bye.